Okay. Hi, everyone. <laughs> All right, we're back. The Sonic Origins Plus. All right. Uh, you want to just count that? Yeah, just yeah. Go, go, go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Let's go. Okay, let's do a little reiteration a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So this is uh, Sonic Origins uh, Anniversary Relay. So we have four Sonic games back to back to back to back to back. Uh, we have Flying Fox over here in the main couch, uh, rain seat here, uh, playing Sonic 1 Tails, as you can see. I'll be doing Sonic in uh, Sonic CD as Knuckles. We have Super Sonic in the back. They're gonna do Sonic in Sonic 2. And we have Sonic 2 Star on my, on my right doing Amy and Sonic for your Knuckles. And then, of course, we have... Hypnotics. Um, I don't run any of these games, but I love these four folks, and they're gonna do a brilliant job. And then, of course, in a perpetual pogging face, we have our friend all the way in Scotland, Argic. Say hello. Hello, and there we go. That was Sonic 1's Green Hill 1, done in 22 seconds, and Joey Baby doing the intro. Why am I being swarmed with Knuckles? <laughs> it's what you deserve. It's what you deserve. <laughs> Alrighty. But yeah, we are... Oh. Uh-huh. Well, we... Oh, well, just... <laughs> there we go. Hey, Barry, how we love talking. Everybody? We love you talking so much. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sonic 1 with Tails, a little bit busted if you've only really watched the uh, original releases of the game, of course, in 1991. Tails wasn't around at the time, and uh, he's got a spin dash to boot with him. A 17 seconds, the flying, the spin dashing, things are going to be going fast with Flying Fox and the Flying Fox. Who would have thought? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can see, like, obviously Tails can fly, but there's some nice unique tech outside of just flying up in the air. Um, you can use that to slowly descend yourself uh, falling down, so you can have have really nice sharp angles flying downwards by using Tails' flight to get a nice sharp uh, angle descension to land on different parts of the level and it adds a lot of unique strategies to the run. Nice, Flying Fox is going to be going for the speed shoes here, hoping to keep them going all the way there through. There we go, that Missing there. the little spike bridge there, rolling through all the way to the boss where she's going to be picking up an invincibility box and it, hopefully choosing this boss nice and easy, Tails' flight means that as soon as Eggman can be hit, bam, hits getting landed. Nice and Seven, smooth. Eight. Eight. With the rings to boot as well, straight onto the capsule. You'd love to see it. Really nice. Onto everyone's favorite. No one's, it's no one's favorite. <laughs> no, Why do people keep no. saying that? No. Why do people keep saying that? Marble sucks. Marble is really okay. hard to speed run. Yeah, so, so, so Marble Zone, at least in Marble 1, uh, it's very uh, cycle dependent. Uh, especially at the beginning here. So there are pistons, uh, once you get to the first underground session of uh, uh, Marble Act 1, uh, Flying Fox is going to head over to the right and she's going to attempt a cycle skip. So uh, they move up and down in five second increments and she's going to try to skip that by timing a precise spin dash just right here to hopefully go under. There we Slight go. Very butter. nice. Thing. Like you. Sorry. Easy you like. <laughs> I got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was good. That was clean. Yeah, it's, it's really tricky because uh, if you if you uh, don't get through that successfully, that's just the easiest squish of your life, and you just go right back to the start of the level. So really good that she got that. Another addition that we see for this version of the game are the elemental shields in the games that didn't have elemental shields. And a fire shield in uh, this zone is super handy. As you can see, lava all around. That means that if Tails does find himself on any of it, he won't get hit. The FF has avoided most of it anyway. That was a solid, mm. solid marble. But we're still going. We've still got another two acts of this. Uh, yeah, people, people don't really like this so much. It doesn't really give much room for going speedy, but we'll see, we'll see some new stuff in uh, Act 3, which you wouldn't really see in the original game, but we've still got two to go, which is more underground movement, avoiding the lava, yeah. doing some mm -hmm. flying, being intricate with our timings as well. It's all, it's all good. So even if you're not playing as Sonic, Sonic is the only character that can actually utilize the uh, abilities of the shields, of the elemental shields. Uh, fire, sh fire shield allows you to do a fire dash and so on and so forth. Uh, but of course, like even Tails, like as you can see, uh, the fire shield is still useful of just not taking damage in the lava. And of course, the bubble shield uh, doesn't let you drown in water, which is just relatively useful just throughout, especially if you can just, especially if it's just in your way. Yeah, we'll be seeing that during Labyrinth, which uh, is, a, is a great relief. Mm -hmm. Really fun stage, everyone's favorite. <laughs> a really nice spin dash through here, nice. Very nice, taking that nice intentional damage boost, get right under those chandeliers, getting just right above that before it closes up. Nice, nicely done. Very nice. It looks smooth. Then 
what's all right, three. Act three, is we're gonna be seeing some different stuff here. Any folks that have managed to get their hands on the mobile re-releases of this game might know of these particular routes that some of the other characters can get to. So FF is flying up here, and this is exclusive to the remakes. You won't see this in the original Genesis release, but uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, it means that there are extra options for the characters that can get there, so Knuckles and Tails have a bit more, a bit more to do, and this is all just completely new, and mm -hmm. FF is making it look very nice, managing to get on those spikes at the right time. Spin that across. Not far away from the boss. Here we go. Now, fairly stingy boss with any of the other characters. Uh, Tails, you still got to be careful with all of those fireballs that are coming up, but oh, those Tails. Yeah. Absolutely lethal, straight on top. Oh, there I love is. a good, I love a good capsule bounce. You're, you're doing mm -hmm. a lot of those FF. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's something simple, but it looks it's aesthetic. Yeah, some like subtle things like landing on the capsule jump does take like uh, you know we have a little visual cue, audio cue to like have the gauge, the timing to jump straight into the capsule. Because of course, any little time save always counts. Okay, cool. what's in store for us in Spring Yard? Is there anything I'd like to mention about? We that? got. We got plenty of bumpers, we got plenty of springs, but we Ooh. got these. Ooh. Nice <laughs> that's where you go. There as well. <laughs> that, sh that should not have happened. <laughs> now, that's, that's being under the boxes there, just clipping under the uh, the ground, unfortunately. But we do want to grab the speed shoes here. We want to be going as fast as we can. And then our boy Tails here, he is going up the top and Flying Fox, he is going to keep him there because you know what he's doing? He's flying <laughs> off the screen. He's gone. Platformer, belly nowhere. Go right down to the hole there. Nice. Easy as you like. <laughs> also, a lot of folks might know that there was a life box usually at the start of that game. Um, we now have coins. I know Cardinal Sin, we have coins in a Sonic game. <gasps> they are, yeah, yeah, that's the right response. Um, those are our lives counter for uh, the mode that we're playing for this game. Sonic Origins, big collection of a lot of the old games. And yeah, lives are very inconsequential, but you have a whole load of things in later on in the game that you can sort of collect with those coins. So it's a big, it's a big kind of love letter. Um, I'd take Sonic Jam over it, but it's still pretty cool. Right. Yeah. So I guess I didn't emphasize, uh, we didn't emphasize what, what, what is anniversary mode? So anniversary mode is just essentially the Sonic games, how you remembered it, a 16 by 9, and just a lot of different features as, as Hypnotics brought up, uh, live counts being replaced with coins. Um, but uh, there's also a classic mode that exists in this game. It's not like one to one the classic mode that you play in the Sega Genesis Ooh, slash Mega Drive. That was interesting. <laughs> um, they're literally just the anniversary mode, but just ch chopped to four by three. So it's not even classic mode. It's just uh, is anniversary is anniversary mode with uh, less less viewing to like what's going on basically. It just shaves off like the left and the right, and uh, yeah, everyone just sticks to anniversary. <laughs> Yeah, classic mode as well gives you the lives back. So if you want to play with lives, it's there. Uh, but in the terms of the speedrun, it literally really doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Got some cycles to deal with here. Thankfully, Tails there. Oh, well, there you go. Tails also <laughs> has a smaller hitbox than the rest of the characters there. If uh, Sonic or Knuckles tried that, they would be squished. Yeah. Um, so Tails getting, getting away with it, just being like one little block high and then using uh, using his flying ability to be like, ah, I'm not doing that, it's fine. But uh, we're gonna have a little bit of fun spin dash in here just to get back up as we wanna go into a little room just to try and grab ourselves some speed shoes and the invincibility, mm -hmm. basically, effectively giving us super tails for like about 15 seconds-ish. I'm just gonna be trying to get a nice jump up here, getting more height on the half pipe. And then sure. over the top, and now I hope there are no fans of the uh, Spring Yard 3 boss, because I think this is something that we can skip with this yeah, version. We're not, we're not intending to f wrestle with Robotnik here. So you can land um, perfectly under here. Imagine, there we go. Nice. imagine having to do the boss. <laughs> Nicely done. So yeah, that goes right above the level there with Tails. This is a theme with Tails. Tails is, if he can go above the level, he's going above the level. Um, the hardest part about that skip there is one, getting enough height to actually get over some invisible walls, but two, landing back in on the capsule. Because if you go too far to the right there, uh, bad things happen, so don't do that. 
I'll tell the Labyrinth we were talking about the Bubble Shield, but that's not something that we can get right from the start. So we are doing the usual battling that we are doing, uh, going slower in water, you would have thought. But uh, at least Tells can swim, so I keep yeah, the doggy paddle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Doggy paddle. I love the doggy paddle. And then Tails just completely skipping this far, flying over. Yeah. Uh, no little buttons, no platforms needed, just straight off. It's a really nice little intro stage to Labyrinth here. Uh, normally, you would see some glitches in that in this game. Um, unfortunately, in Origins, those classic skips and zips that you're used to, uh, most of them are gone. I say most of them because uh, just wait until you get to some of the other games. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. All righty. Well, Act 2 is much, much of the same. Uh, we could probably fit in a donation or two, maybe. I agree, yeah. All right, well, there's so much love coming in from the Sonic's Origin community. We have $15 from Strawberry Jam that says, let's go, Sonic Origins plus Real A team. Each one of you have put so much time into the run, and I'm so excited to see it up on the big screen. Let's go. Thank you, Strawberry Jam. Thank you, Jamas. Much appreciate it. Time for another? Oh, yes. Okay, we have $25 from Alec K 47 that says, Hi from the back couch. Got to support my fellow classic Sonic speedrunners, even if my wallet is starting to get light. The community is why I'm still involved in speedrunning over a decade in. So thanks for being such a legit people, everyone. Sonic 8 races this summer? Ooh. Okay. Potentially. Potentially. I'm in. Sonic I'm 8. In. Oh, okay. you gotta, in. You gotta, you gotta talk about it. You're, you're the Sonic 8 guy. <laughs> So, so, wow. So the Sonic 8 is a um, it's a multi-game speedrun. Basically similar to what we're doing with Origins here, but it adds Sonic 3D, Sonic Spinball, Sonic Mania as well to make it eight games originally created by Big John. Um, it's a case of, it, it's a lot of fun just doing eight games back to back because why why not? Like, why not get all the Sonic? Indeed. Um, but Origin, Origins is actually a perfect intro to it. If you want to do some multi-game speedrunning, Origins here is a great way to start. Indeed. Alrighty, Act yep. 3. Things are getting a little bit hairier. I think pretty much any version of Sonic 1, all speedrunners fear this level for one reason or right. another, but this is where we get the bubble shield. This is going to be helping us quite a lot if we can keep it as far as we can. We're going to be trying to avoid these little spears here. Nicely done, FF. And then, if folks know about this stage, we've got the climb at the end, so we're going to be, yeah, keeping this for as long as we can. Mm -hmm. um, Tapping through here, avoiding the spikes. Nicely done. And yeah, it's just having the bubble shield means that we don't really have to worry about bubbleless. It's a singular bubble, in fact. Um, you don't have to be quite yeah, yeah. as sort of on the money with, uh, with trying to get out of here as quick as you can. But still, we're speedrunning. We want to get out of here as quick as you can. FF doing very nicely. Taking the checkpoint, which is wise. It's definitely wise. Yeah. Yeah, that whole water section, if you're doing it without the bubble shield, you know, uh, Flying Fox being able to utilize in elemental shields in this version, uh, getting through that whole section without grabbing a bubble and slowing down to get a bubble is ridiculously difficult. Uh, Sonic 1 runners dread Lab 3 doing it. <laughs> like, getting through that section without a bubble is a really difficult strat, but thankfully having the bubble shield is useful. We're now onto the climb. Possibly one of the scarier moments. We do have the shield, but we are still on zero rings, so we're trying to be as safe as we can getting up here. Tells us flight does make it a little bit easier. Very Landing nice. straight on the capsule. Uh, oh, oh. oh, it's still nice good. Yeah. It's still good. It is possible to completely skip Robotic, but it's a really tight like yeah. squeeze between mm. the wall and him. I accidentally um, bounced off him. That's why. Yeah. That's why it didn't work, and I had to um, be careful. A little bump off the butt, but. Now we're on to a lot of a lot of people like this zone, Starlight Zone. Uh, I hope you don't like it too much because uh, we're probably going to be going over quite a bit of it. Oh, and some clapping going. All right. I dig it. I dig it. RG, I hope you're clapping. I don't know what can see you, but I hope you're doing it too. <laughs> oh, don't you worry. I'm clapping here. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. So, Act One. It's you know good old platforming. Uh, I don't think we're skipping over all too much here. Yeah, oh, really? Like, nice. well, yeah. Ooh, we're straight at the end. Nicely done, FF. So. Double signposts. I love that. Yeah, I don't know why that's a thing. Two different routes, maybe? Yeah, yeah. pretty much, yeah. Yeah. So, got that, and then Act 2 is going to look a little bit different, but... Uh, I'll try. You're going to do the you jump? Gonna go for it? I'll You're going to go for I'll it? Try. Oh. I was about to say, don't let me pressure you when okay. you're doing it. Okay. I will try. <laughs> okay, so, so, this, so, so the strat uh, Flymouth is going to go for, she's going to do a really tight uh, slope jump where if you time your flight at the precise time, you can get a massive amount of height to get up to the top of the level. 
Uh, gonna see if she can get some speed. Yeah, she's gonna try to get just a jump from here. No. I'm gonna make it up there. I'm gonna give another shot potentially. No, wow. okay. Nah. No, that's it. It is, it, it is very difficult to do. Um, yeah. The wall is really high up. Yeah, the, the game, uh, the, vet, the devs do try their best to keep you away from being on the top of the ceiling. So the left and the right sides of the ceiling are higher. Uh, think of it like there's just like two towers and there's an air pocket in the middle. So if you can bypass the first top of it, you can bypass the second one. So what Flying Fox would want to do is land on the top left of it or just fly through the whole way or just jump off the left side of the tower and just fly, jump off of that and just fly to the end of the stage. Uh, it works. It's, it's similar to how the game uh, treats the ceilings in Mania. They just have like two towers that just keeps you from flying up there. But there's still, there's still ways for runners to maneuver through that. So if I was looking to get like a nice big bounce off the invincibility box there, it's yeah, a very tight jump. But uh, still getting invincibility and making our way over to the boss arena where hopefully we're going to put this into very good use. Let us see. Flying up. Yeah, boss is coming in. Look at this. Look at this. A couple more here. And you're just Easy. done. And then after Starlight here, like Starlight's really nice. It's really chill. You get a fun stage, and then they stick us right in Scrap Brain. Scrap Brian. Unreal. Ah, Brian. Yes. <laughs> yeah. My mate. My mate Brian. Yeah, me and the fellas love Scrap Brian. So yeah, Scrap 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 Brain. Sorry, I, I actually almost call it the other way around. Oh, tails. It's quicker to do it this way. It, it actually is, actually. <laughs> Instead of having Tails just slowly f descend back, it's probably fast to actually resend that situation. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to like stick to the top right for the most part. Uh, the flight is very useful here, as you can see. Uh, just one of the benefits of just having that ability throughout. Oh, the sandwich just got in my way. Yeah, the sandwich's mm, collision is very like bizarre, especially when they're uh, like just going to and from being able to be stand on and not. Uh, but yeah, going going through those doors there, which act is activated by just simply just a uh, press of a button. And I get to get one more spin that jump right over and right into the end. Nice. Very nice. What does Scrap 2 entail? So Scrap 2, uh, there's going to be a lot of... Uh, I guess it's pretty cycle-oriented too, if you consider all the butt saws that can get in your way. Sorry, yeah, so there's a really precise uh, wheel jump that she's going to try to go for, which gets her a really nice jump up to the top path here. And can just land straight on the other wheels right there. It's a really tight jump because just being a frame off can just completely change the, the, the angle that you're really going to. Going to land right on this one, get a little boost off the momentum, intentionally take a damage boost to get through those first uh, spike, the little spike pillars there. Going to make a little jump, land on the, on the ceiling there to get some momentum and get a running start from the, from the landing there. Of course, taking an intentional damage boost, just get right through that. Uh, you may think like just taking damage is, 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 is slower in most cases, but in a level like this, you just don't have to avoid, you don't, you don't have to bother avoiding any of those spikes at all. That is very nice, yeah, just the, the speed going through that. The spin dash takes a lot of time to get used to, because Sonic 1 didn't have it. It never had it, the levels were never designed with it in mind. So trying to take advantage of it normally, as you would do in Sonic 2, 3 and onward, and you're going to find yourself hitting walls in that more likely than not. So the extra level layouts in that and, and just trying to get past muscle memory takes a lot of work here. So Flying Box is doing a great job, especially when we get to Lab 4 here. <laughs> lab 4, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Scrap Brain 3, I wish they made one. I'm surprised they didn't. They just kind of went back to Lab 3. I mean, they just like that stage very much. Sorry. It's all right, we're doing a restart there because the last thing that we want to do is go down to the bottom route. If you have a look at the map of this particular level, uh, you are either in here for life or you're in here for uh, just about 30 seconds or so. So um, FF is going to be trying to stay on the on the good track. Uh, don't want to get hit here, of course. Very yeah, yeah, nice. With our rings, nicely done. Nice bad neck bounce. Up there. And then all you need, yeah. point. There, there we are. Awesome. Final zone, Jürgen. 
Jürgen. Oh, there's Jürgen. Let's go. You see the little face in the background, those eyes hypnotized, staring at you. Yeah, that's that's Jürgen. Uh, shout out to him. Wait, but... We use Jürgen here as a kind of little advantage. You'll see the flying fox just moving away from the lightning bolts and then kind of moving over towards where Jürgen is. The reason for that is because we want to try and hit Robotnik, who's in one of two capsules that come down. Um, and unfortunately, if you get the two in the middle coming at you, it, you have to pick a side. And if you're on the wrong side, you're just not going to get ahead here. But hanging around Jürgen allows you to kind of know, right, okay, how am I reacting to this? Right now, Flying Fox getting some fairly good RNG and being able to react quite nicely to this. And uh, almost ready to switch over to Sonic CD is going to be our next mm -hmm. one. Already through one game. That is wild. Well, we have got three more to go after this. And the games get longer, the character abilities are all changing. And not only that, but our runners are changing controllers as well. So yeah. you're going to get to see more, more about that in a bit. As Flying Fox Ooh. is coming, a little bit of swag at the end here. <laughs> she's gonna oh, she's just gone. His people yeah. need him. His people need him. Flying Let's Fox go. Done. Sonic 1 is done. Right, I'll be very quick with shout outs as we've got to swap over. Uh -huh. uh, huge shout outs to the classic Sonic community, especially Origins, especially huge thanks to Von Ryder who has helped me massively on this. And oh, huge shout outs to Club 601. Right. Hey, okay. hey. Yeah. Alrighty. It is CD time, eh? Yeah, CD time. So so the, uh, these credits are unskippable, so we're going to use this time to like shuffle our, our, our mics essentially, get the next run going, but we can also use this time for a good two plus minutes of donations if we have any of them. <laughs> oh, we're getting so much love coming in for the Sonic's Origins run. But that being said, also later on in the marathon is going to be a Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, and currently that category is set to Warpless 8.4, but folks, if you want to extend the marathon, if you want to see more incredible speedrun action, we do have a donation incentive for upgrading it to all stages. So the runner, instead of just 8-4, is going to have to change the category to complete every single stage in the game. And wow, we have raised $19,683 out of that $50,000 that we require. So Chad, we just need barely over $30,000 to get that mat. Do you believe in Twitch chat, audience? Yes, we do. Yeah. Oh, heavy. can you put this? We have $10 from Ken that says, Cover Muffin said to donate, so I donate hard. Thank you so much, Ken. Keep going, Cover. Keep going. <laughs> oh, yeah, we have so much love coming in, especially this one from the community. $25 from Brandino that says, Shout out to this excellent crew of gamers. So happy to be able to meet you all this week. And thanks for playing my Sega Saturn. Sonic Jam <laughs> for life. Let's go. We also have $25 from Belindra that says, Flying Fox, Joey Baby, Super Sonic, and Sonic Star. Good luck on the run. Got your back. All my love from the distant couch. Hey, Belindra. Thank you, Bo. <laughs> All right. The credits are done here. Joey is going to quickly jump into the next game here, Sonic CD. But before he does, uh, we're going to have a quick little shuffle in the options menu for our control schemes. Because you may notice that Joey here has a very cool arcade stick. Mm -hmm. And all the runners play <laughs> Show this. with different uh, bugs. There Look we at go. that. Look at Yoko that. from Gorilla Gun. What a pro. It's custom made. My Magnum Opus. Absolutely uh, fantastic. Yeah, that deserves it. It's a giant <laughs> anvil, but it's it's my preferred way to play. It's just really comfortable to have all the buttons just laid out there. I, I can't complain about it other than transportation with it. That's the Absolutely. major one. Absolutely. All right, so, so we're going to go into the uh, the options menu, change the stuff there. While we're doing that, just a massive shout out to uh, Bobby as well. You saw Bobby playing some Bloodstained earlier in the marathon. Big user of uh, snack boxes, arcade sticks, hit boxes. And good friend to the Sonic community. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm looking at my Discord to find my input layout, which I have here. So basically, we're, what we're also going to, of course, do when we're swapping between different uh, different games and characters, we all have a very specific layout. All right, there we go. So I'm just going to do a really quick change here, just to make sure everything's all good. 
can tell that we are incredibly smooth with everything we do here. Uh, but as a heads up, Knuckles in Sonic CD. So originally when this game released, he wasn't playable in CD. And everybody was just like, huh, what's this, what's this about? Why, why is he not playable in CD? And then when Sonic Origins Plus came around, they're like, all right, we know that the fans want this. And it has led to an incredibly broken run. And I'm super excited about it. Knuckles, Knuckles is the homie, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun time. And Joey spent a lot of time on this. Yeah, um, a lot of practice leading up to I'm, coming I'm over. The, I'm the most convoluted uh, <laughs> controller thing. I think everything is good to go. Everything's good. Yep, everything is good to go. So now, so let's go into Sonic CD real quick. Let's go. Oh yeah, this is. This is absolutely the most technical run of the uh, of the games, I would say, and you are about to find out why. Knuckles was not meant to be here. <laughs> he is not meant to be here. So, uh, so this is a, a category that was introduced in this uh, this game specifically. So there has never been an official way to play Knuckles in CD before until now. So this was uh, this was added in the DLC expansion, uh, Sonic Mania Plus. Uh, which was included with Amy being a playable character. So this is a genuinely, extremely unique run in and of itself. So yeah, I think we'll just start it. Uh -huh. We are all we all agree with agree with that. Another countdown. Why not? Three, right. two, two, one, go. Let's go. And knuckles. And knuckles. And knuckles. And knuckles. <laughs> As you can see, this is clearly knuckles. See, there he is. My guy. <laughs> that, that's my boy, knuckles. You think we should play this out for a little bit? We could do. But yeah, but yeah, but for for some reason they don't like keep the cutscenes. Like there's no difference. It's just the Sonic one. So you see Sonic there, one for one minute, and then oh there, there's there's Knuckles, and we are thrown straight into Palm Tree Panic. People joining in with the music. I really hope that you don't enjoy the platforming of this stage because it's intricate for every other character. Knuckles can roll out straight out of his glide, and uh, there's a stage here. Uh, you, you know, I don't know. He he's he's somewhere. I don't know. Could have fooled me. Oh, there he is. Okay. Hey. So and about 20 seconds. And there we go. I swear, not every stage is like that. I swear <laughs> to God. Yeah. So. No. Yeah. So. Um, so obviously, yeah. This state, this game is not made with Knuckles' game like style in mind, which make which adds a lot of unique tech and a lot of glitches on top of that. Um, whether I pull them off well, I, I God, I hope I do, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, so to start here, we're gonna do a six tap yeah. into another six tap, and then we'll see what things happen. Oh, that didn't particularly go well as I planned. All right, so we're gonna come down here. Oh, there's my jump button. No wonder I was I was figuring <laughs> stuff out. All right, so we're gonna like figure out a interesting uh, button combination here. I'm gonna just keep it going here and just fly over here. Nice, still keeping the speeches at this point. Getting over the top of this part. Hopefully not. Oh, oh we're gonna stop oh. here. Almost tra okay. time traveling. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, one, two. Okay, I know where my buttons are. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the part I just need to figure out. Okay. We can, we can still manage it, we can still manage it. Let's go. Alright, so and uh, so we're gonna notice as well, the boss fights are very trivial. Um, I, I think that was like the last thing they really did with this game, like figure out like how to manage boss fights and make them actually like uh, a genuine boss fight. So you're gonna see here in uh, Palm Tree Palm Tree 3 here, we're gonna just take an intentional damage boost here. Just one, two, three, or three. Hey. Hopefully spin dashing at the right time. Oh, almost yeah, pause on But that's all right. Okay, just making sure where my pause is. All <laughs> right. Joey's going to be needing that pause button in a couple of bosses. Well, in the next boss, um, because there are strategies that are more akin to some of the Genesis games that are going in, like going into collision, um, getting warped to different parts of the level. Um, not quite what we might be used to with the Genesis games, but they're still there um, in some respects, which is fun. We we enjoy seeing little uh, carryovers from the games. But we're going to get the speed shoes here. Yeah. And try to. Maneuver through the whole level with this, hopefully. Uh, there's a part in the level where we're gonna try to maneuver like 10 million bumpers. Um, that's why one of the most difficult moments in the level, at least in terms of like a glitchless setting. Uh, maneuvering through all that, we're gonna try to go under here, nice jump over here. Do I have enough speed shoots for this? I hope so. Oh, wee! I'm going down here. Okay, we didn't we didn't get all the speed shoots we needed, but we got to the end though. Yeah, nice. Because yeah. there's like so many bumpers in that section, so we got pr we got through that pretty cleanly though. 
Now, in the next stage, uh, we saw we tried to go for a super bounce earlier on um, in the run, but Joey is going to be going for a super glide. But start off with, uh, you know, ceilings and milli suggestions. We are going to be taking this route up here, hopefully getting this bounce here. There Lovely you stuff. There you go. That is going to send us, yeah, so, yeah, again, yeah, platforming. So an, nah. Yeah, so another mechanic Knuckles has is uh, glide bouncing. If you glide with a lot of momentum coming down and just instantly, oh, oh, there I am. Almost. So almost got the maximum glide, but still decent enough. So if you glide just before making contact with an enemy or a monitor or anything that can hit you that you can bounce off of, you get that momentum completely opposite, like towards like the top, basically. And if you keep a glide throughout the whole way, glide, uh, Knuckles' glide continuously advances, like it speeds up, it, he accelerates. And if you have enough height, you can just completely go through the whole stage. So, okay, so this is a pretty interesting boss skip here. So this is a three frame perfect trick. Uh, we're gonna introduce something called a slope warp. If you go towards a slope at a specific speed and angle, you're gonna see I'm pausing uh, to get very specific frames here to ensure that I get the specific jump here. So I'm trying to get into a slope. That's frame one, frame two. Okay. Is All right. gonna shift over? Yes, yeah, it, it gets it. What a so yeah, so, so yeah, so the angle and the jump really matter. So basically what happens is Knuckles goes into the slope at such a speed and angle that on the next frame, he's essentially inside of it. The game doesn't like you when you're inside of a slope. So instead of a normal game that would just eject you out of the, the slope and back and bounds or just have you inside of it, the game's like, heck that. And they just maximize your Y values to like infinite, which means you're on the top of the stage. And on that exact same frame, you're able to jump on that one frame. And if you jump on the frame, you could just land right on the ceiling, and you're able to just just completely skip the boss entirely. Shout out to time traveling. We're actually doing some in Sonic CD. Who would have right, First time travel. Main mechanic. Yeah, so this is something I want to also talk about. So the game's main uh, timing method is not IGT, but is RPA, so which it may seem weird that time traveling is done because, you know, time traveling is, you know, it takes like seven point. Seven five seconds or so, uh, but we also we we subtract the time bonus and the time traveling. So time traveling is really cool because not only is because it just happens, it looks it looks neat, but uh, the past and the future have different level layouts, and that could be beneficial for just going through the routes because some paths are inaccessible in certain time periods. So we make the best of this. Uh, so we're gonna see another warp. Uh, we have one try for this. So I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, get this one down. So he's going to be going over the future signpost. He's going to be holding it here, releasing at a specific time. That's good. OK, so we time travel at a certain point of the level. And what that will do is just instantly warp you <laughs> on the top of the screen. <laughs> Um, so now I'm just uh, meandering over to the ceiling. There's, a, there's like air pockets here that I'm trying to like avoid. And we get to the final top of the layer of the, the, the ceiling there, basically. And we just um. beat the stage. There you go. <laughs> Oh, this is rough. So shout out to Inception Kitten and finding that. Um, I just kind of stumbled into the Discord one day and I see he beat the record time by like nine seconds. I'm like, huh, all right. <laughs> like I, I had a reaction until I saw like, oh, hell, okay. <laughs> I, I, that was my reaction. It's like I need, I need to see for this for myself. But it ended up being pretty RTA viable as long as you get the timing for it. I'm pretty glad I got that. I can't count how many times I mess it up in runs. So this is uh, Title 3. A uh, little interesting thing about Title 3. So same thing with any other boss. It's been pretty trivial. Get down there, please. So uh, the goal for this fight is you're supposed to hit him one time. So Tails is able to fly in his hitbox because Tails can fly and he get invincibility. Uh, Sonic is, able, is supposed to pop the bubble so he gets through that. Knuckles can just <laughs> go right through it. For some reason, uh, for some strange reason, this gliding, canceling animation does not interact with bubbles. I don't know why. If you jump towards it, you'll pop it. If you're just walking towards it, you'll pop it. If you're descending, if you're gliding to it, you'll pop it. If you're falling can't from a glide cancel, you just don't interact with it. I don't know why it's the case. I'm not complaining though. <laughs> so here we have Quartz 2, I mean, I'm sorry, Quartz 1. Oh, I'm gonna slow down, oh god. Uh, this is not the time period I'm trying to go to. So this this is, so another tricky thing about um, uh, 
Sonic CD in general, like, at least in terms of I don't want to go up there. Yeah, this all, is right. A... <laughs> all right, I'm going up here. All right, let's, all right, see, scenery route. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah. so the one tricky thing about uh, Sonic CD in general is that the, once you're in the time period that you're in, you're in there. Unless you intentionally... Oh, I can actually do this. Yeah, you can go back now. Just go back nice. to the I can, okay. Hey, we're okay. back. We're so back. That, 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 actually, that actually makes me allow to explain another thing that's really bizarre about this game. So, Oop. for some reason... Oh, don't do that. <laughs> uh, so... For some reason, if you can glide out of the, if you uh, glide cancel and land and hold the spin dash, you can keep the time travel essentially, like you can keep it steady for like the entirety of the of the whole time travel as long as you hold the spin dash. You are not you were not allowed to do that for pretty much the entirety of Sonic CD until this version of the game. For some reason, uh, which is really nice because it allows you to just easily just get to the time periods you need to do without worrying about what paths you need to take in order to not accidentally lose your time travel. Because if you bonk or you slow down at any point, you can lose it if you need to time travel. But thankfully, like, that's, that's possible. So that was uh, the bright beginner route. So that was unfortunate on my part. <laughs> but don't worry, we'll maneuver and try to get through this. We do not want to time travel. We want to slow down intentionally, take the species route, and we're going to go to another spot to get us another slope warp. So we're going to go up this this tight, this little pipe here, go back into it, clip up, hopefully, into the top. There we go. We're gonna try to meander through the ceiling here. Get up, please. Oh, meander yeah. is such a great word for this kind of thing. I do <laughs> like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's meandering. All right, here we go. Jump over. Good. And there we go. Hey. Yeah, like, like we said, this game is not designed with Knuckles in mind at all. Uh, the glide cancel is busted in the sense of just, it can get you through bosses. It can also allow Joy to have full control over Knuckles. It's going to become really apparent after we uh, we do leg day here. Knuckles not used to doing leg day, of course, is always Bless ready to, to throw hands, but he, he can't really jump, unfortunately. But while we have this auto-scroller, uh, Muffin, if you have anything you want to do, any donations, now is a great time. Oh, yeah, so much love coming in from the community, starting with $15 from HUD601 that says, a big hello and good luck to all the runners from Club 601 Watch Party. We're all so proud of each of you and so excited to see the first ever Sonic Relay at GDQ. Thank you to all of you for being the inspirations you are, not just for me to start speedrunning back in 2020, but for so many within the Sonic speedrun community. Remember, gotta go fast. Hashtag Nux Gang, Tails is best boy, and Amy is best gal. Heart. Wow. Bros for throwing in all of the, all of the, you, you gotta be a fan <laughs> of one thing, man. You can't see a fan of all of them. Also, shout out to the SABX Relay. Hit the Sonic Relay. Ooh. Oh, I should probably hit that. That's a good, <laughs> good idea. idea. Good idea. <laughs> I'm too busy jumping holding right. I forgot it. the jumping part. <laughs> yep. All right, now for everybody's stage that you either love or you hate, it is time for the wacky work bag. Yeah, wacky. I'll, I'll let Arga yap during this one. <laughs> oh, I get a yap, let's go. Let's All right, go. wacky work oh. bag has huh? oh. the bouncy floor. Ooh. Yes, okay, so Joey's gonna make sure for cycles here to make sure that he gets the right platforms, the right bounces, and now gonna bounce all the way up off the bouncy floor here. But he needs to keep movement here using the uh, glide cancel to go around his spin dash. <laughs> That's a restart because the cycles again are being a butt. We kid you not, the cycles in this stage are so tight that these restarts are actually faster than doing the stage in general. So we're gonna go through and hopefully get past the cycle. There, there we go, get past those containers. Gonna come down now. We have moving yellow platforms and we also have platforms that bounce on the ground. That is very good there, not activating the floor. Coming out of the area, bounce up one, get the glide, gonna spin dash over here. Gonna land off the wall, land up on the moving platform. Wow. Spin dash, there, go, and yeah. back, 24 seconds. That's why I won it the first it. time, not the, not the two <laughs> reasons I got before. But yeah, like, you see how those platforms are just kind of just bobbing up and down. If I was going there a second later, they were, they'll be in completely different locations. If I they're, bounce they're on awful. those bump, if I bounce on those floors, which bounces you obviously, I would be like 10 feet, 10 different floors up and I have to like climb back down and uh, that wouldn't have been really fun at all. Yeah, well, Joey's not out of the woods yet. Gotta continue here and try and get a trick at the start. We need to hit this there. Keeps the glide out. You can see the future sign about to transform. Right, but then you hit the pass sign. 
that sends Joey to the past instead of the future. With the best that future. allows Joey to then go through the rest of the level here. We've got a cool little bounce coming up. You do the glide cancels to fall down here. Immediate glide cancel and the spin dash and the precise bouncing up and down and through the spinners right up that entire area. And it more glide cancels to come down here. And we got one more little important glide cancel. Roll into the glide cancel. Misses the platform. Gets up. Doesn't quite get the grab on the spinner there, but a spin dash. Finishing in less than 30 it's a seconds. Self you, that is good. We take those. We take those. All you right. absolutely take those. Right, so, Joey, take this one because mm, this is why Knuckles is mm, a thing. All right, so we're coming up to the biggest what the hell moment of the run. <laughs> uh, I found this by accident. I was just kind of just doing ILs, and then one day uh, something broke. Uh, so what we're going to do is going to do an intentional five tap spin dash. I'm going to reset. There's a very precise window I want to do this glide here. There we go. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. I'm just, I'm just chilling. Nothing, nothing's fine. Everything's fine. Now nah, I'm in the air. <laughs> What's up, Robert? Off he goes. Everybody knows that, that that boss is long and boring. There we go. Okay, so let me explain what happened there. So when Knuckles is doing his climbing up a cliff animation. There's a, there's a brief moment where he has intangibility with physical objects, and objects standing on it makes them flo like float. Don't ask why it happens, that's just, a, that's just a thing. When you get that interrupted, he keeps, those, he keeps that state. So basically the bumper, like the bouncing floor, interrupts that. So when I glide at a very particular point, I can get that state and just beat the boss. And speaking of which... Uh, Wait, whoop. Ooh! And that's another Let's one. Go. So this is a horizontal warp. The type of warp you get is based on the warp, the slope you're going into in general. So that's a horizontal version. Nice. <laughs> okay. So there was a risk in dying there. So the reason I paused that many times is because I have one single frame to make a jump there. The frame you warp is the frame, there's only one frame you can jump after the warp. If I miss that frame, I fall and die and I have to do it again. So I do that twice. That was, that was start as one. You do the exact same trick and start as two. Just a more longer way to get there. So there's a setup that I do to get a particular landing to make sure I get the, the angle to get the warp to trigger in the first place. So we're going to try to do it again. Uh, we're going to set that up again. What you want to do is not land on the floor just there. We're going to try to get an angle. There we go. Nice. Okay. No dips. Nice. Let's go. In his bag. And we're at the end right there. Nice. My condolences to anybody who enjoys the other side of the Sonic CD soundtrack, but <laughs> we all know that the next thing that we have is Stardust Speedway 3. We're going to be racing Metal Sonic. It's nothing that you haven't seen already, so that gives us a healthy chunk of time for any more that our lovely host would like to say. Oh, before that, Ooh. I want to I say shout-outs to Von Ryder for just finding those strats in general. He was the one that looked into multiple slope port setups for like pretty much not just Knuckles, but for all characters. So big shout-out for them. Uh, sh uh, uh, Von Ryder and Inception Cannon were big contributors for looking for for making the run that then you know for what it is today. So big shout outs for them. Uh, but yeah, but we can roll over donations. All right, sounds good. Kicking us off, we have twenty five dollars from Joe and Freya the dog donating for that lost level all levels run. Loving the Sonic Origins run. These are the games from when I was a kid. Brilliant run by Flying Fox, and I'm loving the commentary from overseas. And just as a quick update, we are less than $29,000 away from closing that upgrade to all stages. That is amazing, Twitch chat. You've raised just about $2,000. Keep it up. We can make that $50,000 mark. Nice. Nice and easy. Mm -hmm. John couldn't get there. Funny thing, once the fight, <laughs> once the, well, when you call it fight, but like once this race starts, uh, Robotnik comes back at a, like at the same speed every time. So you have like if you get there much faster, you wait for him longer. If you get there much slower, he comes faster. Like he basically once the the only like speed tech you can really do is going to see Metal Sonic and then hitting the capsule. The race, there's not much you can really do in terms of going fast besides the besides uh, you know going fast. Going fast. <laughs> like 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 in a more physical like visual sense. All right, so we yeah. have Metallica 1. So this is a pretty unique stage. This is the only stage, at least you can see you know, in, a, in a run at the moment, that gives him a unique route in Sonic City. So this was added in the Plus expansion. 
We're gonna go up, uh, intentionally not get hit, but we'll get hit, sure, why not? Not go to the future, all right. We're gonna do a six top spin dash here, bounce off this guy right here, oh, go nice. over the ceiling, and then that's the end. Yes. Nice. So smooth. Going into Metallic Madness 2, Joey's mm -hmm. going to be doing a nice big jump off one of these. What do we call them? Like, we saw them a little bit in Sonic 1 uh, with a jump in Scrap Brain. They're like little yeah, yeah, yeah. cool things. A, a little interesting, like, wheel shenanigans mm. as well. So we're going to have one more glide trip up in the air. So we're, we're not going to see much of the level, so to speak. So we're going to get up three wheels. That's one. Or I guess it was only two. OK, this is the wheel I want. Nice big spin dash. One, Just gonna be counting. Two, four. Okay. So I'm I was I'm counting to make sure I hit the peak of my jump and then do the glide. If I glide too early, I'll just slide off one of these these uh, ceilings basically. Okay, not the best glide because you can actually just completely just hover over all of that. But that's still not bad. Twenty seven flat. Nice. As long as you get over there, that's perfectly fine. Final zone, and it's going to look, once again, it's going to look different with Knuckles. Uh, you don't have to worry about all too much with Knuckles. His gliding and climbing makes things just a little more trivial when it comes to... Yeah, uh, staying you say that. Oh. You, you say that, Hebe, but uh, let's see what the light bugs are going to do when we get... Oh, up. yeah. Uh -huh. Do another one more monitor bounce. Get up here. Hope Platforms is not getting my... Oh! <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Uh, help me out the second time. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Never in doubt. Never in doubt. That's yeah, uh, the platforms can be uh, on and off, and it's like I hope it's so. It's hope it's not there when I'm going there. One like right, bug. bugs. Oh, that's a nice. Oh, let's go. Like hey, one. they were nice. All right, so the last final thing I need to do is a double hit. So when you get the first hit of Robotnik, he slowly moves up, and if you time the jump just right as you hit, like he's about to run out of iframes, you can get a second hit. So hopefully, I get that. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I'm not sure what the frame window is to get that, especially considering Knuckles' jump height sucks out. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty tight window, at least for Knuckles. So we'll glad I got frame that. perfect. Frame perfect, yeah. everybody. Yeah, frame perfect makes it make, makes me look special. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, making this boss much quicker. Lucky to be able to get in that second hit for Knuckles. Uh, it's not as blessed uh, vertically as the others. But we're at the end of Sonic CD. We're here Halfway through game-wise, halfway through, not really run-wise, but there we go. Sonic CD, everybody. Got some hiccups, but hey, I pulled off the strats I wanted to pull off. That's that's all I yeah. got for me. Um, but yeah, see, Sonic did all the work, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> like, stealing all the spotlight. I hate this guy. Um, so, yeah, so quick shout out. So, we do a switch when while we're watching these credits. Uh, you know, big shout outs to, you know, the Sonic community. I'm glad we got this whole relay, you know, started. You know, it was all a small idea. Like, you know, what if you think it could happen? You know, you know let's, let's try our shots. So, it's nice, uh, GDQ. Thanks. Thank you for, you know, giving us the opportunity to show off this amazing run. Uh, of course, uh, yeah. So, yeah, shout outs to the community, you know, Club is 601. Uh, the folks that, you know, this is not the only version of Sonic CD, of course. You know, there, there's a version that uh, called Sonic CD Restored that exists. That is another alternate version of the game that you can run. Uh, yeah, so many different communities for the same game. It's really cool. And of course, uh, shout outs to, well, I don't know shout outs to myself makes, make, make, makes any sense, but uh, if you want to follow anything, you know, I do this, I do the Sonic stuff, uh, twitch.tv slash joy69. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. We'll do a little switch here. If you got any uh, donations, this is your time. Oh, we have so much love coming from the community. Amazing stuff, Joey. And we have $5 from Goddess Maria that says, Hey, longtime watcher of GDQ, and want to say lovely run from Flying Fox, and good luck to the rest of the relay team. Let's beat cancer with speed and strats. Also, love the Amy, Amy hats, Sonic Kustar. We also have $50 from Blitz Hedgy that says, Shout out to the awesome Sonic Origins Relay crew. You're all awesome and sending all my love and support to you all. So good to help fight cancer with the help of the Sonic Dreamcast. <laughs> oh, I love what you did there. Hey, Argic. We got some love for you right here as well. We have $250 from VT that says, GDQ, check. Argic, check. Sonic double check. 
Time for my twice annual donation. Wow, thank you so much, VT, for that donation. Yeah, thank you very, very much. And as a quick up update here, we have a donation incentive to upgrade Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels to ha requiring all stages to be completed in order to be able to finish out that run. So far, we have raised $21,781.80. In order to be able to unlock that, though, we still need to make it all the way up to that $50,000 mark. Do you believe in Twitch chat, audience? <laughs> so do I. Get those donations in and make sure when you do that you put them towards that upgrade to all stages incentive. Alrighty, enter Super Sonic, who is playing none other than Sonic. And Tails is going to be around for the journey as well. Shout out to the Tails fans out there um, in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Uh, this game, Sonic CD, was kind of the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 um, in some respects, hence why we did it second. But yes, we are now moving on to. A lot of people say it's their favorite games. What are, what are our opinions on Sonic 2, Sonic uh, I, I grew up on 3, so... <laughs> that's the, that's the yeah, correct yeah. thing to grow up on. Sorry, folks, I'm a, I'm a Sonic 2 hater, but <laughs> Super Sonic is going to be singing its praises. He's played this game for a fair while. Um, this is, yeah, you're getting a chance to show off, uh, show off some Sonic. Yeah, and I will be playing on this Razer PS4 fight pad. So it is kind of like an arcade stick, but with a D-pad instead. So another uni controller. Let's yeah, these, these, these types of controllers are not, they're really good specifically for the, you can see the button layout there. Um, you can, we get piano roll our thumb over three buttons that gives us the triple spin dashes that we know and love. We're gonna have to go into the options menu here again just to make sure the controls are set to what Supersonic needs here as we're gonna go in. And while we're doing that, we wanna give a big shout out to uh, Mecha Yutori, who mm -hmm. was uh, an advisor on the Origins, uh, Origins Plus here, uh, hey, giving us the three jump buttons. Like, thank you for giving us three jump buttons. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh uh-oh. I did a boo-boo. Uh oh <laughs> what did Oh, if you, you go do? to a different... Hang on, I think I, think I can A different this. configuration. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I, I did Southpaw for some reason. <laughs> I am not left-handed for that. Okay, so we got custom. There we go. Uh, and I need... So yeah. my jump button. As this is going on, you can probably fit in a donation or two, perhaps? Oh, yeah, we have so much love still from the community. We have, uh, let's see here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> we have $500 from Al the Time Shark. Wow. Yo, let's go. let's go. Sonic would agree, only the oldest rings will do. Sorry, Sekiro. <laughs> <laughs> We also have $50 from Oh Hey It J that says, Good luck on the run, peeps. Us and Club 601 are rooting and cheering all of you on. Smile. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We are ready to go into Sonic 2 now. We got Super Sonic here ready to run through. We will be bringing Sonic and Tails. And something cool on this one with Origins is you get to control both characters at the same time. And what that means is there are certain areas that we'll be able to use our buddy tails here to fly around some levels if required. And just making sure that the options are ready to go there with the element shows and that. So when you're ready, Supersonic, let's go in three, two, two one. one. Let's, let's have go. It. So starting off in Emerald Hill here, we're going to go through, grab the fire shield. And we have Sonic this time, which means the active abilities can all be used. We're going to see the fire dash come out, as well as protecting you from fire and also some projectiles. You've got the movement going out here from Super Sonic, having the speed shoes, giving us that super burst of speed. Going around the ball, Ooh, right there, over the spring. The There's the 18. Let's go. A little bit easier with the elemental serials, but still, like, that was the execution. The Super Sonic wanted that. That was slick. Your speedrunner card is safe. I'll Thank hand goodness. mine in later. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you like Emerald Hill because we're only going to be seeing it for another 40 seconds. <laughs> yeah, and the, these stages are very, very quick. Like, something that's really good about Origins is that just it gets to show you all the improvements that the games have going through the years. Now, obviously, they've made it the same with like having all the elemental shields and that, but we get to go through Monkey Bounce. Monkey Let's jump. go. Monkey Jump. And we're going to run through the bomb route here, speeding our way straight through. We're going to go down a nice little roll there, facing left to get the speed right, get the standard shield. One of the few times you will see it, and into the boss fight immediately. 
nicely done. He's going to be moving to the left, not doing any spin dashing, but just rolling at the right time, landing as many hits as he can. We do also have the drop dash here. Uh, shout out to Sonic Mania. Makes things just that little bit nicer and can build up. When you go... A s that was nice. That was really, <laughs> really well done. When you do a drop dash on just a slightly like angled ground, the speed that you can get off it is incredible. So can be utilizing that where it makes sense to, but we are now going on to Chemical Plant. Um, banger, of course, banger stage. Start jamming. Uh-huh. When you hear it, you can't help but jam to it. So you're going to see oh. the drop dash and fill effect there. Unfortunately, getting an un a little jump there off that, which is not what we wanted, although sending tails on the underside, so that was nice. <laughs> Nice jump. There you go, the there's the there. jump you want. Yeah, ooh, uh, no, you say that. That's fine. And then slide Path through dropping. here. Jumping at the right part, the slope there so that he doesn't get sent all the way up, still managing to, mm, to get on a nice cycle of those platforms. <laughs> nice subpixel. And then slowing down over here to go up the top. Ooh. I need tails here. Come on, yeah, Tails. Yeah, not quite. <laughs> get over here. Thank you, Tails. So going through Still there, faster. yeah, like if you're going to take the other route, it's going to take ages, but that's a nice study. <laughs> Tell us what are you doing, man? <laughs> little boy, little boy. Well, uh, maybe it's better if he's trapped there for some stages. <laughs> he um, can be a bit of a menace. He'll just go through collision for no reason. He plays by no one's rules. Well, you say that. We got ourselves something really cool coming up here. Don't blink or you'll miss it, because uh, we are going to have a little trick. Hey, Get in nice the jump up job. very nicely done. So deliberately using the drop dash there to about turn to stop the momentum that you have. Allow Supersonic to get a spin dash and a precise jump up to do some path swapping nice. shenanigans there. That skips a massive chunk of the stage. Combined with that jump there, we're already at the boss. Like, it's done. <laughs> and this is where Tails can be a menace. Do not be a menace. He's dead, let's go! <laughs> Boss is done. We on the capsule. Very nicely done. That, yep. was a, that was a nice chemical plant. So a little bit of a fun fact. The reason why I balance on the button here, uh, so three years ago, or four years ago at this point, um, I did an IGN video of Sonic 2 with Ben Schwartz, the voice of the Sonic movie. <laughs> and um, he wanted me to balance on the on the capsule there like that, and I've been doing that ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Was that really four years ago? Like, what? That yeah. was four years ago. <laughs> Jeez. All right, I caught a Gruen. Oh, that makes it, this is probably younger than how I feel right now after hearing that, to be honest. We're going to take the top route on the stage here. We're going to do a number of drop dashes on nice. the slope. Something really important about the drop dash, in this game at least, is if you use a drop dash on a downward slope, it will give you a bigger boost of speed than anywhere Ooh. else. That was nice. Why it does that, we'll never know. But there you go, to the end of the stage. Tails. Tails. <laughs> Super Sonic, stop killing Tails! I'm sorry, it's not my fault. I hope this keeps happening. This is this is good entertainment. <laughs> oh, and then, of course, finishing the stage in 30 seconds or less here gives us the nice big time bonus. Unfortunately, I can't skip them down there, but it does give you a little bit of a breather as we come into our next stage. Aquatic Rune 2, we're going to be seeing some more platforming, trying to avoid the water as much as we can. Makes sense. Of course, Sonic can't swim. So, taking the top route, ah, keeping ooh, that's okay, that's fine. the most part. So, staying on the middle right now. Um, yeah, just getting to the end. Boss is just right at the end of this level. Um, it's something that can be manipulated in the original releases, but we have our, we have our ways when it comes to, comes to this boss as well in this version of the game. So, still going through this little hole here, up and out, taking the spring, straight through to the boss, jumping up oh. high, oh, almost. Oh. So if Supersonic manages to get the right speed and the right jump height, Tails, he can get all the way. <laughs> Tails, okay. There okay, we're not gonna kill Tails. Ooh. So now Tails is dealing the damage. Yeah, he's a homie. Yeah, I don't need to do it. I'll make him do it. <laughs> <laughs> Had that, had that boss um, skip worked, he could just like do a whole load of bounces on him. Um, but in the end, you know, Tells is helping us out. Yeah, I'll give him some aggressive head yeah. pats. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I've never thought about that. That's, that lines up perfectly. We are, we are petting the doggo in this game. <laughs> Trudy. Yeah, Tails Trudy. is kind of a doggo, yeah. Yeah, K9. Shout out to PB, by the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right, Casino and I, we've got ourselves a spin dash into a bounce into the top right here. We do not want to fall down if we can help that. We've got the invincibility. We're going to run our way through, have some fun. 
with the bounces here. We'll see if Supersonic is able to get nice flips off the flippers, run our way through around, and then don't need to grab the lightning shield there, although the double jump would be nice. But experienced Sonic 2 player here, ready to go in right through, down to the bottom. Oh, he's gambling. Oh, gambling. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> The scenes, the absolute scenes. Get it, get it. Get I had a feeling that there. was going to happen. <laughs> So well, nice see, that's the question for you, Supersonic. Uh, you ten, you normally play the retro versions of the games here. How does it feel, or how different is it playing in 16x9? It is very different. Uh, a lot of the skips that you normally do in the Genesis version does not exist in, the, in this version, but there are some things we can do, especially when we utilize Tails. We will see it in the next stage. And uh, I kind of alluded to it in the interview um, that there was a clip that was discovered. We will be seeing that later in the run, so... <laughs> kind of keeping the suspense there for it. It's it's a very simple clip too, so it's pretty hard to miss, I guess. But yeah, other than very that, nice. yeah, other than that, like it's fairly like the same route as the uh, original glitchless category for. Oh, I did not want to go that high. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very similar to the Genesis glitchless version of the run, um, with some minor exceptions of being able to skip a couple of bosses and do some cool, unique strats, especially in Metropolis. So. No, we're going to have a lot of fun down there. And then uh, another special surprise later on, uh, isn't it, Super Sonic? <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, I can't off. <laughs> oh, can get a little bounce there. So this boss can be a bit of a pickle, the hitbox, when it comes down to that little zappy thing below Eggman. Uh, can be a little bit funky, but oh, as, as is shown right there. Um, but avoiding the spike balls, they have little projectiles that come out of it as well. It's about one more hit away. Nicely done. Got yeah, you can, you can make that much harder for yourself, um, but Super Sonic, that's what he's doing. Yeah, so um, that boss is that is actually a lot easier on the Genesis version, but for this version, they kind of fixed the hitboxes a little bit, so had to kind of improvise on that fight a little bit. Um, and now we got the uh, the saxophone song or Crying Baby, whatever. Crying Baby, <laughs> let's favorite, go! My favorite. <laughs> so it's good. a crying baby and you can't tell me otherwise. I know you all can on it's here. It's an endearing crying baby though. Like, have you, heard a cry have you heard a crying baby sound this funky? Exactly. No. That's what I'm saying. No. Well, if you kind of listen to the song, it's actually like they're having a conversation together. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, yeah, it's like I, I didn't eat your cheeseburger. I, I ate that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Betty, uh, yeah, glitch this level. Uh, this is one of the easier ones to glitch in the original game, but I actually get to see some nice platforming action here. Supersonic doing all the right spin dashes in the right place, knowing where to land in these big lava sections. He's going to be fighting against uh, this, like, a little chase sequence, uh, jumping at the right time there, getting the spin dash. Oh, hit all the way through. That was a nice spin dash, hoping to get a jump. Hey. All the way. Nice checkpoint. We don't need it because the <laughs> ending's right there. So, woo, sub 50. Love Very it. Nice. Time for a quick donation. Oh, yes, sure. go ahead. We have $10 uh, from CBK that says, Much love to the classic Sonic crew. Nux gang represent also spe special message for you, Supersonic. But. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Bud's <laughs> Bubble. And Knuckles. Uh, Thanks, CBK. All right. We got, we got Hilltop too here coming through. The basic stage here is going to be nice, smooth moves coming through, dodging the enemies that are in the way. We're going to try and get ourselves a lovely little cycle here that is completely irrelevant once you get the lightning shield because Ooh. double jumps are overpowered. Almost making me eat my words there, though. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so we're going to just double jump our way through all the way up to the top. And we're going to do a nice little boss skip. There's a reason that we bring Tails with us. There are two levels specifically. This is one of them. The other one is Oil Ocean. We're going to have Tails carry Sonic right over the boss arena. So as we come up here, Super Sonic, unfortunately, Tails spawning there. So we're going to have to wait for him to respawn. And oh, no, he's there. He's going to spring with us. Yo, let's go. So we're going to just fly up with Tails. We're going to make sure Super Sonic is high enough to go all the way over. Making sure you're over the arena right now. Make sure you just go all the way to the right-hand side. And bam, the capsule's there. The boss oh, straight spawn, on top. And that Slam is it done. There. Nice. More aggressive head pats. He deserves it. Yeah, there we one. go. Thank you, Tails. <laughs> my guy. Shout out to my sensei cheese ball for <laughs> Zelda 2. She always gives me flack for making fun of Tails a lot, so <laughs> he's helpful. Alrighty, on to Mystic Cave. I know a lot of folks like this stage. Um, 
pretty much what we see um, in the 1992 release of the game. Just jumping, spin dashing at the right time, trying to keep as much speed as we can in this big maze. Getting the jump up to the top there, very nice. Ooh, little insta shield. It's another nice thing that we get in this version of the game as well. Getting invincibility here, and hopefully doing a nice little jump in between a tiny gap that we have over these spikes oh. here. Ooh, try again though. Still make it up here. Oh. Oh, there we go. Nice. There you go. And All then right. up to the top here, hopefully getting a nice spin dash on one of these spikes. Watch out for the asparagus, and whee! <laughs> See the speed? That, that is the drop dash on the corner there that does that. It is amazing. But yeah, Mystic Cave Zone is so good. Just the way it looks and, and the music. I, I tr I'm trying so hard not to sing along to the music <laughs> as I speak because it's just, it's too good. I feel you. We, we keep on going much of the same action here. I think whilst we're on our way to the boss, um, unless there's anything that you specifically want to mention, Super Sonic, we could probably get another donation in. Yeah, let's get a donation in. All right, sounds great. Well, there's so much love coming from the community. We have Owen hundred dollars from Minus that says, "What an incredible relay! I'm sat at the airport in a massive Club 06 watch party, hoping my flight is delayed so I can watch this all the way to the end. Four amazing games, four amazing runners. I am so happy to have gone to know all of you over the years and watch you all get so good at these games. Good luck with all of the frame perfect tricks. Oh, and you're all hecking cuties. Oh, no, you." Nice. Nice and quick boss there. Um, that was like a really kind of stinky RNG with the uh, spikes coming down, but managing to get yeah, more head pats. Oh, Tails joining in with the uh, teetering action. That's good. <laughs> so with Oil Lotion, it's actually a little different in this version. So the kill plane in the Genesis version is on the third wave. In this one, it's actually on the fourth wave. So and another thing we cannot do is spin dash through the oil. So uh, we're going to try to get underneath to the bottom out here to the best of our, of our ability. Yeah, so this time, they, they, they saw our shenanigans and they went, you're, you're not going to do that again. Uh, we just then went, no you, and <laughs> Supersonic here is going to do a number of precise movements here that allow us to maintain speed into the oil rather than from the oil. You can see just running right under it, away we go, straight under the level, and we're basically almost at the end there. Little intentional damage boost there. Under, that's the stage pretty much done, nicely handled. And we jump up here just to get out of the oil a little bit earlier than we want. One more platform cycle spin under the fan Got the to the end of the stage. That fan hit is hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. It's very smooth. Very smooth. If you're saying you're a fan of Oil Ocean, you're lying. This, this, stage, is, this stage is unforgiving. It, no, it grows on you, though. Like, it's not the worst one in the game. I, I don't want oil growing on me, I'm afraid. I, 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 mean, I, can't, I can't get behind that. <laughs> Fair. Right, we're going to see a really cool little ride through this stage here. Uh, taking the glitchless ride. So we're going to go all the way up towards the top here. Then just say, no thank you, we're just going to fall down. Get the drop dash down the ramp that all of us get a bounce off the enemy. Off the bounce there and away we go. The question is, Supersonic, are you going to be able to get the one cycle? Um, we're going to get a zero cycle. Oh! <laughs> That is true, because I mentioned <laughs> earlier that we're not even going to do them. <laughs> I'm so used to doing this, like, in the boss rush shuffler now. I'm like, wait a minute, we'll fight this boss. No, we're going to get our buddy Tails. The question is, will he be visible for us? Oh, yeah. oh he is for you. Oh, so we can fly up and over at the side here from this block. You go up past the first block, onto the second, and away we go. Straight up and over the top like we did in Hilltop. Aren't forgetting, Slam he mentioned down. in Hilltop. You're skipping it. But there you go. Tells us trying to get up for the head pats. He's just, he doesn't quite get the assignment. He's, he's trying. He's only eight. So now we got Metro 1 coming up. So this is where I was mentioning about the, the teaser. Mm. Yeah. Hopefully I can get it correctly. So. Yeah, notorious for a lot of reasons this stage, uh, both for its glitches and just for how long it is. So hopefully we are going to mitigate the length of this stage, if possible, but uh, for the most part, you know, it's the kind of platforming that you would expect, having to hit a few buttons here and there to get to different parts of the stage, holding down jump at different points on those springers there. All right, here it comes. Ah! Ooh, oh, I was in there. Here we, we go again. Had to be right in this position. There we go. Nice. Nice. That is a nice chunk of that stage that we don't have to worry about. 
Yeah, so the reason that that works is that this stage basically just it vertically level wraps on itself. Um, it's a big, big, big stage. Um, so to basically be able to do that, they, they've made Ooh. kind of like a maze. Oh, what a jump, That was though. delightful. Let's go. Mm. Ooh. Woof. That was hot. So normally there's a lot of falling in that stage. Super Sonic just went, nah, I'm going up instead of down. <laughs> like, that was very swag. Thank you. Act two, though. Right. <laughs> Act two. Unfortunately, no skipping this one. Uh, the original skip does not work in this game, unfortunately. So we get to see some smooth movements from Super Sonic here. Hopefully not getting bodied by the uh, the Pokemon. Their sights are there as we, uh, as we open up my mouth there. <laughs> Let's see if we get up the uh, little secret area here coming around and in. Don't need to worry about grabbing the rings. Don't need to... Not quite getting enough speed to get over there. So there we got uh, we got Kingler there, ready with his crap. Is what is it? Claw hammer now? My uh, Pokemon Kingler. knowledge is flipping. <laughs> it's Kingler. Is it Kingler? Oh, yeah. I did it wong again. <laughs> Side star Kingler and Star you Star you use self destruct. Ooh, usually super effective. <laughs> getting through the stage very, oh, very nice. nicely so far. Not far away. Ooh, getting that bounce there. Nice jump off the side of that. Ooh, nice Almost. recovery. <laughs> Not lethal, but nicely done. Getting all the way up. Getting nice. a one, oh. 104 is a very good time. Yeah, I'd be spending like four minutes minimum on this stage. So it's nice to see. It's nice to see, especially because, you know, Sonic glitches are, well, Sonic runs are known for just how glitched heavy they can be. And to see to see it like being smooth movement is nice as well, seeing that here and there. All right, so our final Metro stage here. Only stage in this game that has three acts. So most of us ask why, because uh, oh, we don't like this stage in general. Uh, so we're going to go down now. You're going to see Super Sonic game specific route right through the stage here just to get up, hopefully get a nice cycle. Just missing it, we'll get our buddy Tails to fly us up here instead. Again, one of the little Origins exclusive features here, having control of Tails in Sonic 2. Just to run through now, we've got some more platforming and that. No major tricks or anything that we need to worry about. So I think at this point, we've got time for one donation before the boss. All right, sounds good. We have $200 from Shook's chat that says, donating $2 because Sonic 2 was the first game I ever beat in second grade. And multiplying it by 100 to see 100% of lost levels. And indeed, we are so close to $25,000 raised out of $50,000 required to hit that donation incentive. You know what, Twitch chat? If you have a favorite Sonic game, why don't you donate and let us know here at Awesome Games Some Quick. Let's see it, let's see it. Have you got a favorite Sonic game, Sonic Easter? I think you, you've played quite a few here and there. I'm, I mean, I'm going to be playing it after this, so... Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah. Spoilers, spoilers. <laughs> if you don't know already, uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you like this game, Super Sonic? I imagine you like this game. Is it? Is it out there with the faves? Well, I actually got this game back in Christmas of... I'm going to be giving away my age here, but <laughs> Christmas of 93, I got a Sega Genesis with Sonic 2 bundle with it. This is my very first Sonic game that I owned, and... You know, fast forward to 2016, I started to learn how to speedrun it um, after watching Darby and try it out for the 12 hour challenge. So I decided to give it a shot, and the rest is history. Here you are, indeedy. So now we've got this boss. Um, it's one that we can do a little bit of cheesing with Tails. Nicely done. Tails is helping us out. We just got all these bubbles. Oh Oops. my god. <laughs> oh. And we do some popping. Well done. And Good recovery ooh. there. Nice. All right, so we have Sky Chase coming up. It is uh, in this version. It's roughly two minutes and eight seconds of an auto scroller. So, if you want to read some donations, feel free to do so. Prime time, baby. Oh yeah, and going off of that Pokemon meme, we have five hundred dollars from Ariel. Ooh, mm -hmm. let's go. Ariel says, "What's that? A longer marathon? Count me in." Got up early on the West Coast to make sure I catch this. Sonic was a quintessential part of my childhood, <laughs> so this run definitely brings back some pure nostalgia for me. Good luck to all of our relay runners on what is definitely not a normal playthrough of Pokemon. These technical machines seem to be much less friendly, and I'm pretty sure our heroes will be taking plenty of baths this run. Thank you so much, Ariel, for that donation. Time for a selfie in these ones as well. Yeah, with that's 30 seconds. We've we've got another another four of those at least. 
Well, we have plenty of donations coming in. We have $25 from AKA The Cupcakes that says, Hi all, Internet Ani Paxi here. How are you all doing? Time for a stretch break. Reach for the Chaos Emeralds to your left, to the right, to the front, and to the back. Great job, everyone. Don't forget to hydrate, eat a good snack, and get some sleep. Hugs from your auntie. Love you all. Shout out to my friends running and commentating Sonic Origins today. You are all going to crush it. Thank you, Bexy. We also have $100 from Dragon Pasta that says, great runners, great couch, great host, an all-star team for an excellent game. And it's all for charity? Shut up and take my money. Okay, there is one thing I do want to mention here. I want you all to look at the background for just a moment. Don't do it. Okay, you see this plot pattern here? <laughs> this is March Kong, by the way. <laughs> so you see the, the front here, this is the face of King Kong, and then the back of the hair is of, of Marge Simpson, so we called it March Kong. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there was no need. <laughs> one of my mods brought it up to me, and now I can't unsee it. <laughs> I just wanted to throw that out there. Sorry, Art. <laughs> no, 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 you're not. <laughs> you're right, I'm not. Oh, we have a question here for all the runners and commentators. $5 from the Devin Ness, which says, question to the runners and commentators. Are there any plans for a Sonic Hendo 601 submission for GDQ? Was that Sando? That Sonic what? We need some clarification uh, on that. <laughs> sorry, the donation's already gone. Oh, that's all right. Uh, I hope you didn't say Sando, because that's not happening. Uh, but Hundo, <laughs> on the other hand, that could be... That could be pretty crazy. Yeah, I think it was Hendo really <laughs> Oh. I don't, I, don't, I don't think we would want to do that to you, but we'd wait and see. Alrighty, Wing Fortress, big cycle, heavy stage. Super Sonic going for a spin dash there. Ooh, Ooh. Nice and tight. Very nicely done. He's going to be doing a spin dash up here, getting up to the top. Nice. We're not going to be seeing any silly slope glitchness over here. Glitches are cheating, of course. So he's going to be going this boss. Uh, this boss can be super hard. Uh, luckily, Collision is a bit more on our side this time around, so rings are less likely to fall through the ground. Uh, but not going to say that they, that never happens, but getting as many hits in here as you can. Gonna, ooh, yes! Oh nice. my gosh. Let's go. Very good one cycle there. The Insta Shield. Insta Shield helping out massively. Uh, as we come up to our final two, two boss fights here, we got Death Egg, the final level. Uh, Metal Sonic, obviously, going to be nice and easy to take out on this one. Uh, but no rings, though. So the question is Super Sonic, are we seeing a 12 0? <laughs> I will attempt it once. Ooh. That's wise. That's wise. You don't want to be in the, in the 12 0 jail. <laughs> So 12 0 is 12 hits on the final boss in one cycle before the boss flies up and goes off screen. It is very hard, and if Super Sonic gets it, we want a massive pop mm. off from everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's prepping himself first. He's got to be fighting Metal Sonic, Silver Sonic, whatever people want to call him. Uh, probably not Metal Sonic, but. It's Silver Sonic. It's Silver Sonic. Yeah, there we go. So. Got to do that first. That is nice and easy, though. As long as you know your timings and how many hits you can do at different points. He's going to do three here. Two, three, four. I'm in four, of course. A little jump from this roll attack here. Mm, two, three, four. There we go. Nicely done. Now we are on 2 12 We are going to let him focus because he's going to find his positions and he's going to get his timing down. Okay, he's liking that. Nine, ten, eleven. eleven. He's got it! Yo! Let's have it! Ooh, that's a 45! Let's go, Super One Sonic. Level. Sick job. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, my man. Oh that my god. Is, Sonic that is really, ridiculous. That was a really, really hot run. I mean, wow. they've all been really hot, but that was, that was flaming. All right, well. <laughs> We've got another uh, transition to the... We do. Yeah, so, um, but yeah, that is uh, the end of Sonic 2. Obviously, we cannot skip the credits for this one, <laughs> but I uh, just want to give a couple shout-outs. So, obviously, 
my fellow runners and commentators here. Uh, also, huge shout out to Argic, who was so originally supposed to be a part of this, but unfortunately could not make it. But uh, he was with us in spirit, especially with his pog face over there. Uh, so very thank you to Argic for being here, especially for commentary. We did not want to exclude him at all. He is part of the family and we love him greatly. Um, also, a huge shout out to my family, my friends watching, and you know Club 601 for watching in the, the call. Everybody who's here watching um, and donating. So yeah, thank you so much. And we will be getting started with Sonic 3 & Knuckles very soon with Amy. So. And Sonic Easter. Yeah, <laughs> Let's go! Yeah, we got some fun. <laughs> So they're going to do a little swap, uh, not quite as convoluted with the uh, controls. Uh, Sonic Q Star is a keyboard player, so we're going to be hearing some nice clicking of the keys. Um, we're just going to make sure we do a clean change over here. Um, not much more to say for the moment, so uh, if our host would like to wheel off any more information, they are more than welcome to. Oh, yeah, you know I do. <laughs> I mean, just looking at all these amazing donations coming in, it is so amazing to see a community so strong as the Sonic team here, right? We have $20 from Metroid Master that says Hilltop Zone, more like Hill Bob Zone. Much love to the Sonic crew. Always a blast getting to watch you all on my days off. Also, Argic, is this anime? <laughs> it was. It was anime. We also have $50 from Al Shrine that says, Sad AGDQ is nearly over. Happy it happened and even happier to see Yins in my hometown of Pittsburgh. Be excellent to each other. And you know what? We could actually extend the marathon because we have a donation incentive for the upcoming Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, where we can actually upgrade it to require the runner to be to have to finish all stages to be able to close out. And we have raised nearly $25,000, and we just need $25,000 and about $50 to go to be able to close that out. No, scratch that, less than $25,000. Thank you so much for all of these donations. We've got a long credit say You are oh, more than welcome to this. I mean, it's your, it's your run now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have a kind of a salty donation, $100 Ooh. from Dr. Robotnik that says, sure, I trap animals and robots, but Knuckles cheats at pinball. So who's the real villain here? <laughs> Don't let the authorities catch him. <laughs> we also have $25 from Gonic UK that says, had to donate during the Sonic Origins run, have loved this franchise for as long as I can remember. Shout out to my beautiful wife who watches every GDQ with me every year. Thank you, Gonic UK. We also have $5 from Withered Soul that says, donating to say thanks to the Sonic speedrunning community. Ever since I joined last year for Sonic Superstars, it has been great. You've all made me feel so welcome like another family. Good luck to the runners. I'm sure you'll knock it out of the park. Indeed, these last three runs have been absolutely amazing. Yeah, shout outs to Superstars. We've like, Sonic Series has been eating uh, over the past couple of years, which has been really nice to see. Nice that they've been willing to go a little more adventurous when it comes to uh, some of the classic releases. It's nice to see another classic game, um, introductions of new characters and such, but Sonic 2, finito. Uh, we're not going to try again. Please don't try and try again. Sonic no, we're not, definitely not trying that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the, the less we see of Sonic 2, the better. But we're going to be moving on to Sonic 3 and Knuckles with Amy. Inclusion of Amy, very exciting for a lot of people. We're like, she's in these animations. They make really nice animations at the end of these stages. We're like, oh. Where's she going to be? Are they going to, are they going to add her? Um, and then they did in the Plus Update. Uh, she, you can play with her in any of the games, uh, any of the, you know, specially ported over games. You can also play Game Gear games on here. So if you watch Tales Adventure earlier on in the weekend, you're like, how can I play that game? Sonic Origins Plus. Get your hands on it. But we're going to get our hands on Sonic 3 and Knuckles. We're also going to be bringing Tails along for the journey to just making sure that we've got all of our button configuration the way that we want it. Just a little check up. Might as well see if we can just slide in one more donation. Oh, sure. We have $250 from TB Skyen that says, My parents got me a Sega Master System 2 with a Sonic the Hedgehog port pre installed when I was a kid, stuck at home for a long period of illness. I played that game absolutely to death and it is still my favorite version of Sonic ever. Spin dash and drop dash and all that may be nice, but I love that downgraded it 8 bit version. 
Nice. Yeah, shout out Sid, like the whole series. I know I said it during the Tales Adventure run. You could say I run a Sonic game. It could be any of these four. It could be any of the eight bits. It could be a third person shooter. It could be a Metroidvania. It could be a party game. Sonic Who Stars doing a little fist bump there. I think he's got what he's looking for. There we go. Just want to make sure everything is nice and set. Perfect. All right. Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Let's go. We're getting ready here. <laughs> All you folks in the audience, are you having a good time with this relay? Let's go. All right, All right. Thanks so are. Let's do this. So, Amy and Tails. Ooh, uh, nice oh, uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> we ready? All right, I'll, I'll make this work. Um, let's see. Oops. All right, okay, we we're are going. going. We're going. <laughs> I guess we're going. All right. Yeah, we, we straight in there. <laughs> uh, right, we oh. got Amy. Hold on, we got some controller. Oh. There you go. There we go. Now we're good. Now we're good. All right, so Amy, she is lean. She is mean. Her hitbox is slightly smaller. <laughs> Give me one moment, just trying to get used to these control changes here. Uh, but yeah, her hitbox is slightly smaller than the rest of the folks, but. Her uh, Pico Pico attack here, um, it actually does pretty mean work with the bosses, so hopefully I can show that off for y'all. Just a little nice bit of... Nice, mm -hmm, A little taster, a <laughs> little taster. Just a little bit of storytelling here, good old Robotnik. Folks, we didn't get rid of that boss, it's gonna, it's gonna be back. Oh, yeah, appreciate yeah, the yeah, claps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was just a teaser there. <laughs> Keeping the speed very nicely, yeah. But so, adding to a hitbox, it doesn't make Amy quite invincible, I don't know. Um, but, uh, nah. Oops. Gonna go for a boss it's, here. The trade off with Amy here is that while she has something similar to the Insta Shield with the Pico Pico Hammer, she trades range on it for not having any invincibility. So, you don't get in these small windows of invincibility, but she can hit targets that Sonic can. All right, I'm going to actually restart this stage real quick. It's just going to push me a bit further into the stage here. Saves a little bit of time. Could you do that again for Lava Reef? Nope, I do not want to do that. Shut us both. We love... <laughs> So Amy here, this is the first time able to play as Amy in any of these games here. Her moveset with the hammer, obviously, if you double jump, you get the hammer swing coming out. Very good for doing bounces off certain item boxes and that, similar to how Joy was doing some super glides with Knuckles earlier in CD. The other thing she has is her drop dash isn't a drop dash. She will run on the ground with her hammer out. It looks pretty good. It does protect you from any enemies that you happen to run into. And uh, hopefully you'll see a few of that as we run through. But first, we have the uh, the whale airship. We love audio. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, something that we can't exactly make faster in this version of the game. There are different ways that we can in the various different iterations, but. We're, uh, we're surviving this uh, this bombing here, and we're gonna hopefully, Tails might help us out a little bit with our next boss, and then afterwards, uh, Sonic will do something a little bit funky to get us to the next stage, nice and quick. It's funny how they put this stage together, it's actually just repeating over and over in the original, but I imagine it's a little more high tech now with the new tech. So, he's gonna appear on our left. Uh, shout out to you, Bitrate, it's gone. Tails is not helping us out, goodbye Tails. Ooh, maybe? Nice, nice boss. And then flying up for that. Come on. Yeah. Oh, there nice. We go. Hey. So, Sonic, <laughs> what's about to happen here? Uh, well, after I go through the score tally, I'm going to actually kill myself, cause a death right there. It'll actually skip the cutscene and go straight into Hydro City. Uh huh. Yeah. Hydro City. Yeah. <laughs> well said, well said. <laughs> All right, Are you going to do this? <laughs> should we put this debate down? Is it Hydro City or Hydrocity? I, what, do you, what, was the, what was the second option? I don't think anyone says that. You, can, can we put it down and then you immediately bring it up? Like, what? <laughs> I just had to go there. I mean, 
actually, clearly, it is splishy, splashy, fun. Yeah. Song, whatever that is. There you yeah. go. Nice, nice, fun water level. Let's just mm-hmm. let's just go with that. It's just a nice <laughs> compromise. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about that Twitch chat? Why don't you send in a donation and, and it, if you think it's hydrosity versus hydrocity? Cover muffin. No, don't do that. <laughs> First time I've heard that pronunciation. <laughs> I'm sorry, Arctic. It's for charity. <laughs> Alrighty, we are in the washing machine, boss. Hopefully, let's keep all of our rings in our ah. pockets. Doing a couple of hits there. Ooh, we're gonna get another one. Ah. We are now poor, but we still got some of them. Going for another couple of hits before we get put in the spinner. Looks like we're gonna get it. Nice. So, a little bit of a fun fact though. Since he lost his rings there, there's exactly 32 that come out. Oh, when you, have, when you have like more than 32 rings, like it'll always be 32. Is that a Sega 32X reference? Could be. <laughs> Got us Knuckles Chaotix. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, uh, if a ring monitor spawned from the signpost there and I land on it, if I try and go into Act 2, I will get stuck and it will be a soft lock. So don't Double want that it. to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice little chase sequence. We saw a little bit of a hilltop. There's another one here, a wall coming towards us, but we would, we never worry about that. We speedrunners, we getting through that nice and easy. Again, just as the case is with water levels, we can try and avoid water for the most part. And we're just going to jam out because oh, this track is delightful. Um, I think we're going to be going through a few slopes here and there where we can. There we go, as right we say. Here. Another one there, nicely done. All right, can I get this jump? Can I get this jump? Come on, come on. Can I get this jump? Ooh, oh, bonk. Just a little time save, but it looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Still speeding through here. Getting our jumps at the right time. Hopefully jumping up onto the top here. Getting up. Wow. Wow. Nice. Wow. On through to the boss. Shout out to Clove. Yeah, we love you, Clove. Another through the... Yep, and through the pipes there. All right, left or right, left or right. These two platforms come in on either side, left or right. 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 Yeah, yeah, there we go. That always trips me up. <laughs> uh, so before I've had to pause, but like, as long as you're aware that I think they all operate on a global timer of sorts. I don't, don't quote me on that. I don't fully know. But anyways, we're going to actually use tails to fly all the way up here. And then... Let's go. Beautiful. There boss. we go. What box? Amy Rose, the lean, mean, hammer, swinging machine. <laughs> <laughs> or Rosie the Rascal. Mm. Mm. Indeed. Marble Garden. Ugh. Yeah. I know a lot of people do not have fond memories of the stage. It is massive. It is like what we saw in Metro earlier. It wraps up and down. So there's no funky shenanigans that we can do like we can do in the Genesis runs, but it's going to be a nice. I'm pretty sure. Does this stay glitchless for this sort of game? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's, it's all pretty straightforward here. Just use tails to fly all the way up here. There's a big. Uh, special stage ring up here, um, but with Amy, she's just small nice. enough so that you don't have to worry about that. And then from here, it's just making your way to the end. So, keeping these speed shoes where we can. Oh. Nice big jump. Oh, oh. Almost. That's all right. We're not far away from the next route up to the top there. Taking these spinners. Right. We've still got our speed shoes, which is nice. So, okay, don't get crushed. Don't get crushed. Ooh. What I'm taking that same. <laughs> <laughs> That, you, okay, you know, that is fine. I, I will take that. No, 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 no. Oh, that. He went to that. I will not take that. <laughs> Psychos, can't live with them, can't live without them. Mm-hmm. Nice spinner action. Not taking the intended route there, just dropping down, going to the left. This will get us to the next part of the stage. Much more smoother. s 3 is so good. I love the music on this. It's all right. So he's going to hopefully be getting... Only two cycles on this boss. Um, he's going to be throwing as much as he can at us and hoping to stay. Tails is having us out. Yeah, hey, okay. like I you didn't tails. explain that. That's just a, that's just a <laughs> hit and done. Nicely done. Look at that Amy signpost. There's there's so much that you have to add in when it comes to characters changing all the new sprites and little like pink flickers on the bonuses. So yeah, some some nice some nice work has been put into putting Amy into this game. 
That's another minor thing to note here. This is the only game you can actually skip the score countdowns. Yes. Yeah, I hope <laughs> the, the score countdown fans are really crying for this one. The, uh, all of the other ones we, we got to see, but yeah, it makes Sonic 3 and Knuckles just that little bit shorter. And with one of the, you know, longer games, it's nice to have that, you know, be on our side a little bit. Oh, hey, Tails. <laughs> this is going to help us. Ooh, Ooh that hey. was close. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this right here. Let's yeah, go. the little Ooh, change in Origins here is that the spinning tops are faster, like significantly. And for some reason, the walls that, some of the walls that require the spinning top to destroy now just don't. So you can just spin dash through them. Uh, it changes it like quite significantly from the original Sonic 3 and Knuckles that we play, aside from playing Amy here and just having a good time throwing hammers around. Nice jumps. Make sure we don't get... S yeah, nicely done. Nice. That was intended. <laughs> We're doing some more spinning. Probably reckon we can get maybe one donation in before the boss. All right, sounds good. Well, we have so much community love here. Just absolute shout outs to this amazing Sonic Relay so far. We have $10 from Home Dog X5 that says, there's nothing better than a morning of Sonic speed runs. Let's keep going fast to beat cancer. Lovely stuff. Alrighty, this looks very different in different runs, but we are going to be trying to dispose of this boss. And the challenges that he puts ahead of us, the level is constantly changing, and we are at a race against time. Tails helps us out big time to speed things up a little bit. Nice jumps there. Can I only wait for so long for those? Oh, almost. Nah, not quite. Almost. And then we're going to be doing some more with those funny arrowheads. Uh, it's nice. The game knows where we are a little bit more, so it speeds things up for us a little bit more, which is very nice. We don't have the arrowhead there. Maybe that's a nice thing. More jumping, more platforms being on our side. And this is where Tails helps us out. I mean, we can really do this without him. So landing as many hits as we can before he jets off. Unless can he? Okay. There you go. Oh, boss is already done there, getting all the hits needed on the bottom side. We just need one more. Bash into him with tails, hey. and away you go. That's the boss. This kid is Very well weapon. done there. I would trust him with Napalm. <laughs> okay, we apologize in advance for what's about to come in your ears now. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I no. forgot. Oh. I completely <laughs> forgotten. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so that's another thing. Um, the Sonic 3 and Knuckles soundtrack has been in like some form of purgatory. We don't really know who made what. Um, so yeah, the rights are a little bit all over the place. So we get different versions of tracks scattered around the game. Um, we've heard most of the original, but yeah, this, uh, this one's just, a, it doesn't quite hit the same. Some of them I really like. Uh, they're actually beta remakes of the tracks, but yeah, some of them, some of them just, yeah, don't quite hit the same, but this is yeah. still funky. It, it, it's one of those moments, it's like, if you played with the games that you grew up with and you heard the changes on it, you're just yeah. like, what is this? It's not when you realize, part of the league. Nah. No, the second track goes hard, I love it. But we are on I, to the I, boss. Yeah. Okay, we got a cool little trick here. Hey, excuse me? You heard me. <laughs> I did. Right, so we gotta hit the boss here. Uh, this boss has actually been changed because this boss now, I believe, uh, only requires... Let's see if it does. There you go. Only That's requires enough. four hits instead of six. And nice loop down here just to try and make the level end quicker. Don't get crushed by the side walls there. Uh, who would do that? No, no. <laughs> and away we go. Nicely done, that was, a, that was a smooth act one. Let's see how act two goes for us. We don't want to drop the ball with the boss on this one. See, I kind of love this track. It's definitely better than act one. Let's see if we get the jump out here. Ah. Ooh, got caught by the slide there. That's unfortunate. Quicker to take a restart on this one. Uh, Sonic Star wants to get the jump after the fifth magnet here. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, the jump. And there you go. Uh, didn't, don't want to get caught by the uh, area if you can help it. Balloon bounces straight up and through. There's a lot of balloons, a lot of bounces, lots of things we need to Ooh, do. Nice, nice jump up the wall there. Very, very cool. And then uh, coming through the end of it here, we're going to run into our buddy Knuckles. He's going <gasps> to stick the lights off for us. I love Knuckles. 
knuckles. And now we got a little underwater section here. So we'll see if we get some good barrel cycles. We get past these enemies in that nice and quickly. See what happens. Oh, nice bounce. There you can nice. see the hammer just in full spin as well, which is good fun. So we'll see how the water is going here. Grab the air because we need it. But uh, Sonic and Star, there is a segment coming up with the boss. I believe you are going to try and go for oh, oh, something geez. cool. Do you want to explain it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you uh, can somehow make your way to the Knuckles cutscene uh, with Tails, you are able to actually uh, fly underneath and go to his capsule. And hitting that will just completely skip the boss. I've never done it in a run. I've only messed with it a few times. I might go for it once, but um, it only saves like maybe six or so seconds. So it'll be fun. <laughs> Always go for a bit of swag in the run. If it doesn't work out, we get to see Amy absolutely destroy Ooh. more bosses there. Oh, that's unfortunate. Just the hitbox there saying no. Nope, hitting the oh, oh, again. Oh, and there's a crunch no. then. That is, that's, that's, a, so that's annoying. Yeah, because now we're going to do that entire section again. Oh. So while we're doing that, Cobra Mavin, how are we doing on the Mario incentive there? Yeah, you know, this is so incredible because we are just $24,000 away from being able to close out. We've closed out so much of this incentive, folks. So if you want to see the Marathon Extended, want to see some more excellent speedrun action, and trust me, you do not want to miss some of these additional stages that are just normally skipped in the run. So when you I'm send in those here. donations, make sure to select upgrade to all stages for the Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. Ooh. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice save there. But yeah, so what, what happened with Sonic Star there is just unfortunately a little bit of hitbox shenanigans. Amy, like Tails, has a slightly smaller hitbox than Sonic and Knuckles, uh, but that button was pushing Amy's hitbox up, and then the game just detected it's like, wait a minute, you're in an area that is smaller than the size of Amy, time to crush you. So, unfortunately, mm. all the way back to the checkpoint there. Hopefully it doesn't happen a second time, uh, but let's just go through and see what happens. We've got rings for it, worst case scenario. Um, I think maybe if we just stay on the swinging thing a little bit, because I think it was just squishing us in between things, but that could also just be, you know, it's a classic Sonic game. Um, it do be rude sometimes. Yeah, as long as I jump from the very top there, I should be There fine. we go, we three, we three. Yeah. Time for barrel. Right, of doom. and now <laughs> it is time. The barrel of doom! Yeah, I, I hear I hear you, audience. How many of you knew it was up, down, up, down? I know I didn't. <laughs> I definitely didn't. <laughs> Nicely done. Switching over to a different path through that little... What do you call them? Swells? The spring oh. doesn't have enough um. <laughs> <laughs> It barely gets you up there. Aye. Right, Aye. nope. Far away from the boss now. There we go. Get that checkpoint. We zoom in off the screen for a little bit there. We love to see that. It's a real sense of speed there. Off again. Aim is so ah. quick. Jump oh, too early. Oh, lucky. Ah. Well, that's that's fine. We get to show off this boss. So. Let's see Knuckles again. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> now, is Eggman going to drop the ball on this boss? Let's see. Probably. Well played, Heavy. Well played. As long as he drops it to the right. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah, we generally want to make sure bosses die on the right sides because that unlocks the screen a little bit faster, so... All right, we are off to Ice Cap. It is time for some hard times, and we are going to have a lot of fun with this one. No, not hard times. <laughs> ah. Sadly. <laughs> So yeah, things are sounding a little bit different here as well. Uh, it's still quite a oh. jolly, festive, this, this, snowy level. This, this, this is what this it looks one, like yeah. in Pittsburgh right now. If you haven't seen the weather, uh, <laughs> this is what Pittsburgh looks like. So um, yeah, shout out to Pittsburgh. Yeah, people <laughs> are loving it. Yeah, it's been it's been nice for uh, for me and Flying Fox. We don't really have winters in the UK. Like we don't really get snow, so it's it's been quite fun to be over here. I've certainly been enjoying it, but. The, uh, the conditions aren't quite as perilous. We don't have these spiky guys in the street, and we don't have these little swingy things that we have to uh, get to the hotel with. Uh, it'd be great if we had tails around to help us, though. Oh, can you imagine if we had springs that just gave us speed? That'd be so cool. Robot penguins as well. Imagine if we just saw those out in the streets. 
Waiting for the cycles here. We've got to make sure that we don't get crushed on our way back down as well. It's nicely done. A little shortcut segment here, jumping through any of the buttons to go our way through it. And then more elevators, more spikes, more slides. And not getting crushed by this platform now. Also not hitting the checkpoint. Interesting. You don't need it. It's too good. Agreed. Doing a little bit of jamming, up and down, a little bit of headbanging. Amy's a big metal fan, uh, if you didn't know. <laughs> I do recall, like, um, back when this game was originally released, uh, there was also a PC version called Sonic and Knuckles Collection. Mm -hmm. They also used the prototype music in that version, too. With, like, MIDI, like, like MIDI sound files as well. It, yeah, it it's, sounded uh, horrible, but... <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's a big rabbit hole with these games. We also had, courtesy of the Hidden Palace, we got to see some prototypes that had the music. Also had like a prototype drop dash. The drop dash is an idea that's been around for the majority of the series being around. We thought that it was just a mania thing, but it looks like we're going to be hopefully skipping another boss. Tails is going to help us out. I think, now, oh, there he is. Being a bot. There he is. Uh, not necessarily skipping, just making it a little bit easier. Just going to fly oh, okay. up here. Bye, boss. There we go. And we go. <laughs> With Chet's weighing in on the Hydro City debate, if you guys are interested in hearing... That was the right the pronunciation. Yellow. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have $5 from Withered Soul that says, it's not a city, but I still say Hydro City Zone. And then Nor Norkso also says that it's definitely Hydro City with a $5 donation. But we also do have $20 from Boost that says, it's Hydrocity, like Velocity. How have they, how have they done that in the uh, in the donation? Have they put S's for Hydrocity in there? Uh, so they, they said like high and then draw, like D-R-A-W, yep. and then they put city. Interesting. Ah, okay. I see you, I see you. Yeah. <laughs> right, we've got more high speed platforming action. We're not held back quite uh, as much now that we're on the sort of overworld, as it were. Uh, we're not underground with this one. Tells is going to help us out a little bit. Got nice. a little got a little confused there for a moment, but we should be good. We're going to be up here, actually. Oh. <laughs> All right, there you go. Cheers, Tails. Bye, Tails. <laughs> Yeah, you want to you try and avoid the bottom route of this stage because it takes you down inside the caves. There's a lot of moving platforms there, um, especially trying to use some of the ice platforms to get over the uh, the water that's down there. Want to skip all that. It's no slow. No risking that one. <laughs> no. Going to attempt? Nah, going to just get up to the boss. You're going to quick kill on him with the hammer swings. Ooh, oh, nice. Ooh, well recovered. Nice recovery. Going to be a risky one there, but... 82 rings and a shield, we in the back. <laughs> Nicely done. I've actually never even seen that. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, so you can skip that as Tails, but with Tails and Amy, the issue is that when Robotnik comes in, um, he will come in at the exact height that you scroll the screen at, so... Um, and he will not drop down, so you would have to restart the stage, unfortunately. Launch base as we all... No one love it. Yeah, again, another song change. Um, still, yeah. I mean, it's Sonic music. It's always all right. It's always serviceable at the very least. So, yeah, more. I mean, more at the kind of action that we've seen before. Gimmicks are these little swinging platforms. Uh, we also have to wait for a lot of these. We've got these little Among Us looking things that we have to hit to make the doors oh, open. Oh, no. I, it had to be said. It's 2024, everybody. More swinging platforms. These lasers here uh, can be a little bit finicky, but usually we're fast enough. Whoa, we're going super fast. And yeah, these frogs as well. Uh, goodbye, frogs. Shout out to the frogs that we saw earlier on in the marathon. Handsome frogs. Nice speed shoes. Big ramp. Going to keep this as we're just speeding through. Nice jump there, taking this particular route. Looking a little bit sus down there as well. Ooh, okay. Waiting for our buddy Tails here. Where are you at? There he is. There he is. He shows up whenever he wants to. <laughs> he's got places to be. He's probably, you know, he's helping out Sonic in another part of the stage. Nope. Oh. <laughs> for law reasons. Come here, Tails. Oh. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. It's just a little guy. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Okay, so those crushers are actually the scariest part of this stage for me. I have lost so many runs to those. <laughs> Nice yeah, job. especially this one here, if you're, uh, nope. That one's like foreshadowing for the next one, and that one will get you. 
All right, we're good. Not today, though. <laughs> Let's go. But uh, we are heading down towards the end of the stage now. We've got one little segment coming up here. Can not remember if this is packed or not? Can you still skip Knuckles here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. So yeah. we're just going to make our way up here. Up, oh, <laughs> Tails. <laughs> well... We're just going to wait for Tails to come up here. We're going to force him to, to spawn in for us. Nice. Because uh, rather than taking the second teacup, we're going to just do a nice little fly here. But now that he's still with us, we're going to keep flying further up. Oh, hey, Knuckles. Hi, Knuckles. What's up, so, Knuckles? Bye, Knuckles. That would usually be triggered if we uh, if we take in the spinning cup, but it isn't. Getting a few hits on Eggman here. And then we have got this spinner to start off with. How many hits are these guys? Like uh, just six. 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 Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. You can do like a weird hit where Tails doesn't even... Yeah, like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know how that works, but Cheers, I'll sir. take it. <laughs> nice. Uh, only one spinner for us there. Other characters might have to deal with it a little bit more, but nicely done. Mm -hmm. All right, we're coming into my favorite stage in the Sonic 3 portion of the run here. Launch Base 2 is a very smooth stage. It is very fun. When you get a when you get to do it right, but we'll see if we're gonna get subpixeled as we we come down here. Hopefully not. And we're gonna get a nice big spin dash. No subpixel there, which is very very good. Mm -hmm. Gonna run our way through off the spring, around through. We're gonna do a jump over, making sure we land on the pulley here, and then get a nice big jump off this boost ramp. Big old jump up the top. We are gonna land through the pipe there. Grab the fire shield for safety. Up and over. This is gonna protect us from the fire segments here. You got these little platforms that are whiffing out a bit of fire here and there. Straight down and through, lovely. Hits the platform to activate the way forward, and we're gonna fall straight down. Should do the jump over here, because we have our buddy Tails with us. Gonna make sure we do a bit of Tails management. So Tails comes with us, very, very nice there. The fire shield's gone because we went into water, instantly flying up, and Sonic Star made that look easy. That is not easy, that is a very nice smooth stage there. Well played, especially with babysitting Tails on that one. <laughs> Back into the water. Um, this is something that we can't really avoid all too much. Taking the invincibility though, just to make things a little bit easier. Nice big jump back out of the water, back in, uh, doing a little bit of dipping our toes in and out, but not too far away from the boss now. This has been a very nice stage, as we've mentioned. Here we are at the boss. It's still choosable, and that's one thing that we love about it. So with this little platform here, oh, I think the no, skip the platform. We don't need the platform. Tells is just going to fling us up there, and we do our spins. Let's go. Um, look away, Knuckles fans. Uh, this, is a, <laughs> this is a dark moment for us in, a, in his history. All right, coming up is a set of two bosses. Uh, one of them is Big Arms, uh, yeah. who can be pretty scary. So um, when it comes to that time, I might need some serious time. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I do not see it. <laughs> All right, yeah, we got the double boss fight here. We're going to start with Eggman in his little ship that's going to come down from the right hand side. Hopefully, get a couple of bounces off with Amy's increased hammer hitbox. And then we'll have to just react to where he's going to come out from to get the remaining hits. And then a big arms and just when big arms happens, just enjoy the tune. Yeah. All right, so this this trick I don't understand, but you can just do a spin dash there and just oh. hit Robotnik from the bottom. <laughs> what a hitbox. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, tail stand in. That's good. <laughs> All right, and now the scary part, so mm. let's see. Music turns and stuff. Here we go. All right, let's see here. One. Two. Nice. Helping us out. Three. Oh. Four, five, six. Ah. Still got a ring, that's good. I think that's seven hits and eight. eight. All right. Nicely nice. done. Three flat. <laughs> Nicely done. Well, we were talking about how this run is a four in one. Depending on uh, how you see the game, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, of course, we this is the Sonic 3 section done, so we're jamming out. We're not going to, well, fortunately, we don't have credits in between the uh, <laughs> Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles, imagine. Um, but we're still going. Amy got through Act 2, and we're just going to be thrown straight in to the Sonic and Knuckles section. 
Well, I guess uh, I'll just take a moment to say shout outs again to uh, Von Ryder and Super Egg and Disagaya Fan. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh -huh. They've been doing a lot of work with Sonic 3 and Origins here. A lot of the strats that you see uh, come from them. So big shout outs to them. Here we are, Mushroom Hill Zone. Oh, Sonic and Knuckles, it's, it's, it's a good section of the game. I love it mainly because we get to see this guy again, but Mushroom Hill is going to be some more, more of what you've seen through the Sonic 3 section, more nice high platforming action. Uh, there was a glitch found in the early days of this game where you can get into any of the, what was it? You can just go into a big ring and like before you're in the special stage, you can just hit restart and with Knuckles, it would just warp you right to the end of the game. Uh, so. The reputation of Sonic games being a little bit broken, that held its value, and it was something that was in the original release of the game. And you could just complete Knuckles in Sonic 3 and Knuckles in, well, I think New Game Plus, you could beat it in three minutes. You had a record in that, didn't you, Flying Fox? The, uh, the Sonic and Knuckles. Come on, um, Come on now. Sonic, I like there we go. beating Knuckles, yeah. How quick was that? Beating it with Knuckles, like, three minutes. One minute. <laughs> this was under two minutes. <laughs> so these two have traded records. Um, I think Disgaea also did some runs of it as well. So yeah, a little bit of a meme, but as you can see, we've stocked up on rings. We've got the fire shield, which helps us out with this boss because uh, it's got a little fire jetpack at the back. We're going to be getting some rings here if we want them. Not that we need them. 150. I'll save them for the next. Stage. Yeah, just no big deal. <laughs> you still got a fire shield to protect it. Time for a donation. Yeah, go for oh, it. Of course. So we have $50 from King Shibby that says, isn't the whole point of the Lost Levels to play all the levels? Here's $50 to make that happen. And indeed, with that, we are so close to being only $22,000 away from hitting that. So make sure when you send in your donations, send it to that donation incentive to upgrade to all stages. Let's go. The crowd want to see it, everybody. We, got the end of the day. we want more DD here. That was a really nice jump off that slope there, keeping speed. Gonna get it again, didn't get the spring, but don't need it. Just keep on going. This is looking really nice. Yeah, very good stage here coming through. You just see it going through the seasons and that as well, just changing the color palette as we go through. Should get a nice big funky jump there, going up through, slowing hey, ourselves nice. down, get an enemy bounce onto the levers here. And that's going to take us up to the secret passageway. The, only, the way you access that is just make sure you grab the left-hand lever and away you go. If you grab the right one, it seals it off. But we get our shields back and away we go. And then we're going to donk on Eggman's head for a little bit. And then that leaves only two hits at this point? Three. Three hits. Alrighty. That's one. That's two. Oops. And that's three. Nicely done. Yeah, so Sonic and Knuckles here is the longest of the games just because these levels, <laughs> they get significantly longer. Like, you got Flying Battery, you got Sandopolis, you got Lava Reef. Like, these are all really long stages hey, coming up nice. here. Another cutscene. And that's a nice yeah. Death Warp. <laughs> Straight up. Mm. We've been shot up into flying battery. No city sprite action here. Just, again, more of what we've been seeing throughout this run. Being very intricate with our movements. Um, cycles are going to be all over the place with this stage as well. We just want to be on the side of those, making sure that we are keeping, again, more fire. They really like the fire in these games. They are a lot of things revolving around those. Speaking of revolving, making sure that those are on our side. Nice. If you don't know what's next after those, it can be quite hairy being out on the outside of Flying Battery. But whilst we're in, we're nice and cozy. Hopefully getting a... Cycles are getting on our a nice side. Cycle there. Yeah. Oh, beautiful cycle. Nice. Uh, getting straight up and then. And then up on top here. Make sure we don't get hit there. Very smart. Very that, smart. That missile always gets me <laughs> during runs. <laughs> the missile knows where it is because it knows where it isn't at all times. <laughs> and then hopefully getting a jump off this slope here. Ah. Oh, oh close. not quite. Saves us Don't a little bit. Oh. 
under that platform is very dangerous. Straight spin dash up and through. So not getting that jump there. It doesn't really lose too much time. So as long as you know your backup to get back through here, it is fine. Keeping our spin dash as we're Keep falling excited. down. Always nice to see. The magnetized stuff is on our side. We aren't with the electric shield at the moment, so we don't get affected by those. Suckers are good. We're going to push these spikes because lo and behold, makes things a little bit faster for us. And if we were doing all big rings, that is what we'd want to be doing. So she's going to wait here for the last little cycle of these platforms. Come through. Let's just go up there. It can be a bit of a pain. And then we uh, we get why you hate why yourself, you the boss. <laughs> Um, but I, I know the community has a, a special name for this one. Why are you hitting yourself? Mr. Tickles. Uh, Mr. Tickles. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so while we got Mr. Tickles doing why we're hitting yourself here, uh, Cover Muffin, if you've got anything you'd love to say, now's a great time. Oh, but I, I don't know if I want to read this one, but I just have to because it's so good. We have $50 from level 500 boss. Uh, Hydro City is a colloquial nickname. Since it has no cathedral, its real name is Hydro Large Town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I I'm like down that. With that. I'm down with that. That's, that's it. Oh, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Bravo. Hydro Large Town. That's class. Alrighty, flying battery zone two. We're seeing more. Yep. Ooh, thank you, Tails. <laughs> We're seeing more action on inside. We do a tiny bit outside, but that's only really when we get to the boss, where it's a little more auto scroller action. But we're getting the electric shield here for some slight gravity action here. It's not quite as gimmicky as in the first stage, so we just got to go wait for these tubes, cylinder things, and yeah, just kind of. Take a chill. So I gotta ask you, what is a flying battery? This? I don't know. <laughs> like, it's oh. it's got the it's got the Duracell kind of color scheme. I I'd love to see I'd love to see what it really does look like. This is I've got any insight on this? I mean, I was I'm glad you said the brand of battery because that's where I was going to. And it's like, <laughs> imagine me holding a battery and then I just throw it. That's a flying battery. <laughs> We can definitely picture that, yeah. <laughs> I mean, considering that this is an island that floats in the sky, I wouldn't expect ba battery supply too, so... <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised, that. I mean, after all, we are playing as a pink hedgehog <laughs> through some very whimsical-looking stages, so... Yeah, Should but is it pronounced is Island or no, Island? No, we're not. Oh, no, we are not no, all this. no. <laughs> Get him off. Actually, Get him off. I, actually, it's pronounced Isnald. We're oh, on oh, you. Oh, 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 you got the rings. Oh, is it going to help us? Yeah. yeah. That's, oh. <laughs> what a save. Oh. Hello, Steve. Oh, two Steve. Oh, Spider Steve. Salute. Steve on the double. <laughs> okay, so that has happened to me before. <laughs> I, Not for that long, but all right. I'll take it. That ring was a godsend. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 not again. Oh, not again. <laughs> right. Stop it. Stop it now. <laughs> Bro's been put in speed jail. He's going too fast. Don't do it again. Okay. This is the last of the crusher, so we should yeah. be fine after this. <laughs> Time for a quick donation. Yes. Sure. Well, we have $25 from Joey P that says, it wouldn't be a Mario-thon if we didn't play all the stages. And yeah, with that, we're so close to $22,000 away from that $50,000 mark. Keep it going, Twitch chat. Send it in and make sure you go into that incentive point and do upgrade to all stages. Let's go, Twitch chat. Let's go, Twitch chat. You can actually destroy that in this version? Yep. No that's, way. That's one of the few things they actually changed here. So. Is the hidey hole still there? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I believe it's uh, not. Uh, what's the point? Alrighty, yeah, this is this is auto scrollery. We've got to wait for the boss to come up. Um, boss is, uh, yeah, boss is certainly a thing. Um, there's very nice lineups that we can do for these characters to make the boss nice and trivial. It's nice that Tails helps us out with some of these as well. So we shall see how that goes before we get thrown into uh, a certain Risen Sonic Runner's favorite stage. But for now, this is the boss. This is indeed the boss. And while Sonic Star is doing the boss, I'm going to say I'm enjoying my purple shades I have right now. Uh, you may wish to power me down before I completely turn off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bless you. Og is still with us in spirit, in person, in voice, but uh, he is deceased on the laptop for now. <laughs> <laughs> the pogging has stopped. We are serious mode now. <laughs> know that I am pogging in spirit. <laughs> pogging in spirit. Truly. Nice. The the Amy Tornado. Uh, do you have a name for this, Sonicky? Uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We will. We will. Sandopolis. That no negotiation of how you pronounce this one. I think uh, you mean Sandopolis. No, nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, we didn't. No, have, we didn't no. have this with Metropolis. So don't you be metro- metropolising me. All right. So we heavy, heavy cycle stage. We are gonna hope that these pillars are on our side. We also have these little sand falls, like waterfalls, but instead we can actually go up them. We don't want to always go up them. Sometimes we do, like here. Yeah. And then hopefully this cycle, looking at a 27, so we can't speed right through it, but we do a little bit of waiting. So Nikki's going to go for Ooh. <laughs> Very dangerous there. So this is round one of a hundred of Sando here. Um, Sonic Gusar <laughs> didn't realize, but we're now going to be doing 99 more runs of this. Yeah. Uh, shout out to the Sando uh, 601. <laughs> no, don't shout that out. Don't shout that out. That, 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 that is a bad idea. <laughs> How long did it take out? Uh, I did in 23 hours. Uh, never again. <laughs> 23 hours of this level. Fortunately, uh, in very like different versions of the game, this game, before we had Origins, a lot of people would play Sonic 3 Angel Island Revisited, which was a really good fan creation. It meant that you could put in your own music. So for doing something like Sambo 601 times, imagine doing that, um, you could pick random music and have you know the monotony not be as bad. Uh, you can't make this stage any better or worse for... Oh, oh no! Really? It's okay. We got a checkpoint. We, Let's go. We're good. We're that good. Is, that is... No. Don't do it again. <laughs> Almost did it again. <laughs> that is Sonic 3 and Knuckles Collision in a T. That, uh, that can happen in pretty much. Yeah, this. That, that was actually intentional. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, this, RNG manipulation. No. Oh yeah, surely. Yeah, this this game is is brutal. Whichever version you choose, you know, but that's part of the reason why we're doing this, you know, because anybody can really pick up these games. Like I know this this whole these whole classic Sonics, they have a reputation for being very difficult. But all it takes is just taking that first step, doing that first run, and then you know sooner or later. You might be up here with us, so. <laughs> also, while, uh, Absolutely. We got, while we got Dwayne The Rock Johnson hopping over here, uh, we can probably get another, another donation in. All right, sounds good. But we, we have so much love coming in for these runs. Uh, with a $50 anonymous donation, always love seeing Sonic at AGDQ. Congrats to all the runners. But we also have $25 from KB Smith 34 that says, let's get this game to all stages. And indeed, there's this incentive for Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels to upgrade it to all stages. And we are continuing to chip away at that incentive. Keep those donations coming in. We just need 22,120 to go chat definitely want to see all stages for lost levels it is actually really cool yeah it's incredible if you haven't seen it before you're on a you're on commentary for that yeah i mean surprisingly i was a mario <laughs> runner so i will be on commentary for yeah. gta's and cosmic's run for that so we've, we've all been enjoying supersonic's voice we want to hear more of it right <laughs> absolutely <laughs> that's what i'm saying sando 2 you turned off the lights uh the ghosts did these little uh, this the Sando police. Yeah, those ghosts. The are Sando actually, police. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> so uh, those ghosts, they actually have a name. Uh, it's called Hiodoro. Uh, it is a Japanese name. Uh, did some research lore about the game, and then that's yeah. where their names originated from. So. Oh, nice. They're goofy little guys. They get a little bit more spooky as time goes on. But eventually, um, well, depending on how risky Sonic you might want to play it, is that a subject or I don't know. Um, we are going to be maybe hitting a switch at some point. Regardless, when we get to the boss, it will just automatically turn the lights back on, and uh, hopefully they will not be... Ooh, they are getting a bit dicey. So now they are actually in play. They can attack you, which is one of the causes for keeping the lights on. But at the moment, as long as Sonic stays moving and is aware of his surroundings, he shouldn't have to worry with them too much. Nicely done. They make that funny warp noises. So this Tails is, is helping us out there. Yeah, this yeah. is originally supposed to be an auto scribbler with the sand rising up, but since we have Tails with us, then we can actually control his flight. We can just, you know, pretty much fly up there, like, significantly faster to do it this way. We're staying flying, that means that we are not going to be getting hit by these ghosts, which is nice. We've got to move this along. Tails helps us out when he's in his spin dash, so he takes the hit for us. And we are on our way to the boss. Ooh, nice. Nice save. Oh, that's mean. Rude guy right there. 
Phil's helping us out again. Nice. Means that we don't have to do any funny jumping. Ooh. Almost went for the throat. Is he flexing? He's I flexing. I prefer to make things interesting. Yeah, why not? Why not? Back into a more open section. Just trying to spin through. There we go. We actually get some speed in this stage. Imagine. Oh, oh tails. Like, oh, tails. That was tails. tails. Oh, scumbag. Who even <laughs> likes this guy? <laughs> we are now moving on. Sorry, FF. <laughs> we are now moving on through this little section. We've got to get a nice jump as we go through to this little loop that we're coming up to. So we get spat out ah. there. It's going to fling us up. And then this can be a bit of a pickle, but because we've got tails and we've got a big jump with Amy, we can just get up there. That can be a little harder for Knuckles Runners out there, but yeah. Sonic is going through this really nicely, only pushing the lever as much as he has to. You don't want to you know, spend too much time on it. He's got to do this most of the way, almost all the way, as he gets through. Now onto the boss, hope they're going to get a... And then bibbity bobbity boo just disappears. <laughs> Nice. He's not done any attacks on us so far. We've managed to land quite a few hits. He's got those spikes on the outside, but wow, completely immobilized. He's done nothing to us. Let's go. Time for a donation. Sure, yeah. We have $100 from Alistar that says, more Mario stages, more GDQ, more good times. And chat, you don't need to donate $100 to help us close that incentive for the upgrade to all stages. Just $5, $10, $20. If you just have a little bit of pocket change that you can send in, we could extend the marathon. I didn't catch the uh, title card at the start of this. What's the name of the zone, Argy? Uh, I believe it's Lava B. Yeah, that'll be it. It's just giving off a little smell, you know. I mean, it kind, of, it kind of looks like beef, right? I don't know what beef you've been having, mate. <laughs> but, well, it's kind of nice and crunchy beef. When you make a typo and it becomes a thing. <laughs> That's what we're here for. Typos Absolutely. Are yeah, no, this, this stage is fantastic. Like, I have a lot of fun with this stage. It's, a lot of platforming, a lot of jumping around in that. You got these enemies, these little cycles that you wait for. Uh, unlike the original version, unfortunately, I can't really do much in the way of skips on this one. Uh, but we do get to just have a lot of fun. Just and when you get it right, it just it feels satisfying, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fortunately or unfortunately, depending on which way you look at it, um, there were moments in this stage where if you do spin dashes in particular points. Uh, the game will just warp you to the competition mode uh, of this game. Luckily, that's something that is, has not returned here. As goofy as it is and how much I enjoy seeing it happening, uh, I can't imagine how frustrating it can be in runs. I don't know if... I'm sure at least one of these runners on this uh, on this couch has, has experienced that, but... I actually have. Yeah, there we go. Shout out to competition mode. That is... Uh, that's true. You can speedrun that. You can speedrun individual levels of this game. Um, there's, and all of the games that we've seen, but there's also competition mode, which is, it's fun. It's it's a bite-sized speedrun. Uh, yeah, I'd recommend it. There's just so many different ways you can speedrun games. Doesn't matter if you submit your times, you can just do it for your own, like, personal hey. growth. Oh, oh, I didn't mean hey. to slight you there, Rob, hey. but uh, hey, if you're, if you're going to bring attention to it, uh, serial, serial SRC ignorer. Um, <laughs> on a, on Not a, intentionally. A, I'm just lazy. He's just, yeah. <laughs> You're too busy running. You're running all the time. But we Pretty much. have now got this boss that we're going to hopefully get rid of these turrets as quick as we can. Ooh, so close. Let's see if we can get rid of this one before it goes down. Nice. And then we just got the hands. And then we're through. Nothing to worry about when it comes to a monitor clip. Also, yeah, shout out to the bit rate again. Yeah, as so we wait for the hand there to move, it's you can see it moving like up and down ever so slightly. On the fifth one is when it's going to stop and crush down. If you know that, you can time your jump, make sure you get three hits per cycle rather than two, finishing it in two and getting a nice time like that. You can see Sonic is prepping himself for the next <laughs> stage because, oh boy, Love Reef 2 oh. is, it's hot and you've got to be hot to, to get a hot time in this. So, lights are off, things look a little bit colder, but he's going to keep the fire and, yeah, just get, get as, keep the speed because it is very hard for this game to, especially in these kind of levels. We saw it in a lot of the more platform heavy, tighter levels, like ice, the start of Ice Cap, Ice Cap 1. Hopefully getting the, there we go, invisibility shield, don't want to be in spring jail. And yeah, keeping this as far as we can. There's a little while there. Nice squishes, very nice. Do 
doing very nicely so far. It's much of the same. We've seen most of the gimmicks here. Um, we can probably... Do we reckon we can wheel out a donation or two, Sonic? Do you reckon? Oh, right. certainly. Well, the Hydro City debate is still going on with Squid Chat. We have $5 from Dashnir that says, it's only Hydro City if it comes from the Hydrocity region of France. Otherwise, it's just sparkling water level. Incredible. <laughs> wow, and $10 from a Sonic 3 developer that says, have you cleared this up? It's actually Hydro CT. We need some verification on uh, on who this person is. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I reckon it's just somebody that might be in the community. It's just like hmm, we can get them with this one. Yeah, and with that, this is amazing. We're less than twenty one thousand seven hundred dollars away from closing out that upgrade to all all Let's stages. Go. Do you believe in Twitch chat audience? We believe. Let's do it. Let's go, Twitch chat. Get get us there. Twitch chat, you're all part of this audience as well. We we feel your presence. We feel the hype. We're now on to uh, the best part of the game. Oh, <laughs> thrilling gameplay. Let's go. Yeah. So we call this thrilling gameplay here. Uh, this is an auto-scroller with a boss that also is basically an auto-scroller. Now, thankfully, we don't have as many hits on this one as we do in the original games. The original has about 16 hits, I believe, is what's needed. Um, and I think this one is only 12. I say only. It still takes forever. Um, so Sonic Star is going to deliberately line up here. Jumping on these platforms, we have to go towards the end of this segment because right now it is a kill plane. You, you, that, that was, was PK. Yeah. You almost hit the oh, kill plane there. Freaked me out. He's <laughs> grabbing the fire shield. We got to wait for the platform to come down. The boss is going to come out and drop some mines. So while we are dodging the mines and waiting for the boss to hit itself, cover mother and keep them coming. Uh, oh yeah, we have so many donations coming in. They just really want to extend that marathon and unlock that upgrade to all stages donation incentive. Five dollars from Sam Wise this, to say, extend the marathon? Okay, heart. And then we also have Hawk sending in fifty dollars from more HDQ. Yes, please and thank you. Fifty dollars from Bugcatcher. We need more HDQ. Come on, chat, bring us there. And we have a big one, $1,500 donation Woo. from Higsby. And they gave us a nice poem. What a better way to spend a Saturday than watching all the coolest people show off speedy ways to play. You guys rock. It's been a great week. Good luck to the runners, and thanks for doing so much for a great cause. Nice. Yeah, it's supposed to be able to get it. We might be able to get it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. We have $10 from Cool Ranch that said, had to donate because Sonic 2 was my first game ever. Been watching GDQ for 10 years and love to see how much it continues to grow. Gotta go fast. Thank you, Cool Ranch. Indeed, wow. Gotta go fast. I'm surprised that it took that long to, uh, to hear I some of that. Honestly, me too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is this is the one time that we're, you know, we're prepared to team up with the, with the Mario folks. We want to we wanna see this get a little bit further. I know that you're sort of on both sides, so... It's, I am on that. It's nothing personal. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Got rid of that boss. Very nice. And we are on to... I'm just going to let it play out. On to Hidden Palace. Um, shout out Hello. to the 100 way, not quite 100 way, but the uh, the knuckle stage of this that takes eight seconds if you're really good. Um, just check the leaderboards for that, that's funny. But it's a little bit different because uh, unfortunately I have to look. Oh, wait, does she fight? Oh, yep. <laughs> oh, the smile <laughs> that I just got from Super Sonic. I'm not, I'm not watching this, but uh, you know what to say, everybody. Oh, no. 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 Up, ah. up. Yes. Yes, my guy, my guy. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Uh -oh. And oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, he's just taking a sleep. I, I, miss, I miss that part. He's just falling asleep, yeah. He's having a nap. Yep. Bless him. So now we're so going yeah, to this cutscene. Oh. Yeah, he's going to be playing air guitar pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, go ahead, Ark. Yeah, just, just, this is the area, this is the Hidden Palace cutscene that you would normally get the first time you uh, come into one of the big rings in Sonic and Knuckles. If you just did the restart in Mushroom Hill the first time you entered the cutscene, you would end up there, uh, but it would load Hidden Palace itself, and you just got straight here, skipping all the stages that we've done. Slinky. It has, for obvious reasons, been patched. <laughs> and now we get a Slinky, maybe. Nice Slinky, Sonic was depriving us. <laughs> 
That's all right. We, we, didn't some, earn we, that slang. we haven't earned the slinky. We saw some funny slope action there, which which was cool to see. So, Knuckles is going to be helping us on our way up into Sky Sanctuary. What a beautiful stage we're about to be treated to. And not only that, we got to see this skeletal anatomy of an echidna. That's what an echidna looks like, indeed. <laughs> Goofy looking guys. I was trying to sound smart, but I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Yeah, we are coming down to the last two stages now. We got Sky Sanctuary, we got Death Egg. This is where the difficulty kind of ramps up a little bit here. Um, hopefully, we're going to have Tails actually behave himself uh, for Sonic Star here. And Sonic Star going to take full advantage of the fact that we can fly with Tails and use, uh, use them to our advantage. Because this level is very, very vertical. It is high up into the sky here. And we want to see if we can get some good cycles. Uh, but sometimes Tails is just... He's not going to behave, so he's going to be mashing very, very quickly, just trying to get above up the top here. There's about three different versions of these that we want to do for each segment. Uh, this will also allow us to skip some of the boss refights that you're supposed to do here, as Mecha Sonic will be in the uh, bosses from Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. So we've skipped the first one here, which is very, very good. We're going to then jump up into this area to skip the second one here. And just keep the fly. Gotta be very, very careful because the moment Tails gets tired, you have to make a judgment call of like, do I jump off? Can I be on a platform? Or am I getting trolled by him? Right now, he's behaving himself very, very nicely. So, good control Ooh, here by you Sonic Star. I opened my mouth. <laughs> I did. Good control by Sonic Star here, keeping ba basically babysitting Tails because the. Uh, ooh, oh, get the jump. Oh, almost there. Amy can't go quite utilize the, the shields as Sonic can. Neither can Tails or, Son uh, Tails or Knuckles. Can't do the extra moves, but nice. That's what we wanted to see. Yeah, very good. Uh, that, that is a lot more difficult than it looks. So a round of applause for Sonic Star on that yeah. one there, because babysitting Tails is a pain. Uh-huh. And our reward is we get the final fight against Mega Sonic here. Hopefully we see some... Intentional damage boosting at the star here allows us to get the four hits. One, two, three, and four. Ooh. Get some hammer bounces. Just take him out. That's fine. We can just use the iframes. Away we go. And one more. There you go. And now we go into our final two stages of the run. We got Death Egg 1, we got Death Egg 2. And uh, hopefully we'll get to see some really cool routes here because we have brought Tails with us. Mm. So uh, this stage has been slightly changed in Origins here. Uh, and having the control of Tails is going to allow us to take his exclusive route here with Amy. Um, and also just nice little springs in that have been placed around to allow these other characters to come and have fun exploring the stage, basically. So we're going to go into this secret tunnel area here. We've got the... The coin box. Hmm. Uh, we're at maximum coins. All speedrunners of this game are at maximum coins yeah. and always will be. So we're going to go through, go in, take the lightning shield, lose the lightning shield, but it's fine. There's more later on in the stage. Take the reverse stages. I'm going to make sure we don't get crushed by the spikes. Run our way through, and then off we go. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Enemy just being a bit of a troll. It's fine. But yeah, down you go. You get both springs there. Takes us up. That puts us right towards the Graviton room here. Yep. Wrong way, Tails. Oh. <laughs> nope, no, Tails deciding he's not coming in there. So we got to just hit the Marcellus manually. He's got the right spirit. Yeah. Oh, he's going to fly in. Yeah, there huh. we go. Go on, Tails. No. Yeah, oh, he's oh, yeah. oh, hey. the one there. Oh, yeah. hey. He did, he did one. <laughs> I'm All right, we got through. We get the onion rings. We love the onion rings here. Wait, 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 wait. Time All for right. a quick donation. No. Yeah, go for it. We have $500 from Plato2876 that says, Loving the Sonic runs and all the rest of the week. Great job, all, and here's to seeing more coins from the Mario Lost levels. And with that chat, we are just $20,000 away from upgrading nice. to all stages. We got this. Sonic yeah. Star is on Red Eye as well. Getting that nice, yeah, up to Amy's, Amy's hammer through. Makes that a mm, little bit nicer. Hopefully, gonna stay. Nice, it's looking Ooh. good. Not going to get spiked. Yeah. yeah. Yo. Beautiful. Beautiful. He loves to see it. Absolutely. That boss, arguably hardest in Sonic and Knuckles there. Uh, mm. That boss has claimed many a run, just because he, he is he's very nasty. Uh, but we get to do the restart here just to skip us into Death Egg 2. This is it. This is the last couple of minutes of the run here. So 
We're going to see upside down shenanigans. We're going to see the lightning shield come into play one last time as well. Uh, but oh, taking the damage booster, that's fine. Lovely little jump there, get over through and in. And we're going to come down here and spin down. Nope, just taking the stairs down, that's fine. Wait for team Tails to come down. Make sure we're not getting bumped by those little missiles. Ooh, Ooh hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll see if he's going to behave himself around this area. Nice jump there. Grabs wow. the wow. Final wow of the run. And it's gone. Oh, immediately <laughs> losing it. <laughs> yeah, big oh, gimmick. Oh, so there's Tails stage. getting the Swish. Someone's got to get the switch, Squish at some point. Better the Tails than, than Amy, but this, oh, yeah, is the, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is the big gimmick at this stage, these little conveyor belts. Uh, also, I guess if you can call them a gimmick or just... Uh, Level design. There are a few, I think a few bottomless pits in this stage, which uh, we want to avoid if we can, because uh, there's there's nothing at the bottom of them. There is no bottom. So we just got to keep on going. These little teleporters, we can, on some of them we can jump over, which we saw earlier, um, depending on the route and which character you're using. We also need to use these seesaw kind of things. Uh, we don't want to have them completely split too quickly. Um, of course, if you've got tails, why bother? Now, very nice there, just having Tails fly up after the first one, just to make sure Tails is where Sonic the Star needs him to be. Now, it's basically plain sailing towards the rest of the stage here. There's a lot of platform movements and that that we need to do, uh, but nothing that we haven't seen before. So, Cover Muffin, last couple of donations of the run, if you please. All right, sounds good. Uh, we have $15 from $15 Man that says, here are my $15. Thank you, $15 Man. I accurate. <laughs> yeah, in chat, like, Every single donation helps. If it's five dollars, if it's fifteen dollars, right? Fifteen dollar man stepped up. It, I mean, is ten dollar man out there? Like, can they send in a ten dollar <laughs> donation and put it to upgrade to all stages? Right? We are so close. We've made so much leeway during this amazing relay race to being able to close out that incentive. Do you want to see the marathon extended out there, audience? <laughs> Let's go, Twitch chat. Sounds like a yes. All right, sounds like a yeah. <laughs> All right, we got the oo ball here. Gravity ball is coming to play. Nice. So it looks a little oh, bit different nice. for Amy. Getting a couple of hits in here, seeing if Tails is going to help us out a little bit, potentially. Uh, the gravity switching is what we can do with the different teleporters, as you can see. Um, these little robot guys, these are spiky Roombas, evil Roombas, are, uh, are not our friends. But with Amy's attack, we are just hoping to get the hits that we can. Very nicely done. And on to the last. Wow, Eggman, that sprite. That is horrifying. <laughs> we are now on to the final, final part of the level. Uh, don't want to do it too quickly. And oh, Tails just runs off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're on your own, sucker. <laughs> the malicious oh, fingers. Nice. Here they go. Also also known as Hodl, right? So, you know, we do like Hodl right here. But we got, the, we got the three fingers on each hand here. We're going to be taking them out. And then after that, we've got two more phases to do here before Eggman himself and then the finale of the run. Oh, very nice. So we got the spin dashes against the fingers there. One more finger to go, and then we jump into phase two where he's going to come down to the left-hand side, going to create a bottomless pit for us. We don't want to fall down there. We also want Tails to behave here because we're going to aim for a very quick kill on this. So we're going to get hit one, two, Three on the AR4, get the roll under of it. Tails has fallen off, so no quick kill, but that is okay. Because Amy is still alive. and get the last couple of hits here. We're going to jump up and over, run under it. Sabotage, no sabotage from yeah. the Fox Boy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, eight more hits, and then we're done. <laughs> we are coming up on here. time real surely. One. One. Two, three, four. Nice. Five. Five. Six, Six. Seven. Seven. Oh, oh, eight. Eight. All right, time. Time's eight. coming up. And on fade out. One. That fade out so long time. time. <laughs> Let's go. Well done, everyone. What a ride. G -G. What a ride. <laughs> well, any and there we here? go. Um, I think I've, most of the people have already covered most of the shout-outs, so if y'all don't mind, I have one more shout-out I want to do. Mm -hmm. And I'm I, sorry to change the mood here, but I want to give one 
Final shout out to a very special person, um, my grandmother, who uh, is unfortunately no longer with us, but um, she did teach me quite a few things about living life to the fullest and to just go head first into things that you might really be afraid of, you know, because there are a lot of scary things out there, whether it be, you know, taking a step in your life or doing a run that might seem intimidating. But I'll, again, you just have to take that leap and you will be all that much better for it. And I'm just so glad that I was able to do that here because if it means being able to hang out with some of my best friends that I've ever met, then, you know, it's incredibly worth it. So. Um, I guess thank you, Games Done Quick, for giving me and everybody else here the opportunity to really show that. Good job, Soniki. Absolutely. Brilliant method. Uh, are there any last things that you'd like to mention whilst we're here? Uh, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody for allowing me to come and do the commentary on this. It is great. I would love to have been over there with you all running in person, just having a great time. Sonic Star, you did fantastic, mate. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful there. Um, yeah, just thank you. Hope you have a good one. And uh, I'm from the other side, so I get to do this. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Audi. Goodbye! I've got a few, just one more thing that I'd like to say, um, sort of on the sort of similar topic. Um, we had a member of the Classic Sonic Speedrunning community just in the past year. Um, we sadly lost him to cancer as well, Glenn O'Brien. So, um, shout outs to him. May his memory live on. Um, Maybe, you know, not a name that everybody knows, but he was one part of this massive community. This run is a culmination of 30 years of stuff that, like, this game itself, the collection, only came out in the past year and a half. So the fact that this is sort of everything being chucked in, everything that's been found from, like, mid-2000s, early 2000s, when speedrunning was really taking off, uh, to now and ultimately to what it is in Origins is so, so cool. So, yeah, this is the rep, um, and these are brilliant representatives of the Classic Sonic Speedrunning community. So, if you want to get started on a game, do it. There is no better time. Sonic Origins has pretty much anything of the classics that you want to have a go at. So, apart from Keldex, but we can leave that out. So, yeah, do Sonic Speedrunning community stuff and keep donating. Uh, those lost levels are not going to pay for themselves. We've got to see those happening. Also follow